March 7th, 2012, Apple special event. No March event in 2013. No March event in 2014. March 9th, 2015, Apple special event. I remember that one. It was a banger. Okay, 2016, March 21st. That was my birthday, actually. I remember that day as well. Yes. No yes. March event in 2017. I love March this. 27th event, 2018. I love it. I love it. March 25th event, 2019. I love it. No event in 2020. Then we had that April event in 2021. Then in 2022, yeah. March 8th. COVID. Okay, yeah. John, you're screwed. The, the March event's happening next week. No! Oh, hi, Andrew Why Edwards. I didn't even hey. see you. Where'd you come from? Andrew uh, Edwards, came, everybody. Came, Our favorite dad. Here. Oh, really? Me too, man. My favorite thing in the whole gosh dang world. See this? Oh, my music Can, can the world out. see this right here? Yeah. Vaguely, if they're watching. I don't know if it's visible. If they're listening. You know, you know how like red. some people have started taking their headphones off, like streamers especially, and they find out that their skull has this permanent indent? <laughs> Is this going to – oh, yeah, streamers have started to take their headphones off like recently the last few years and realize that their headphones have created a dent in their physical skull. Wow. Um, and okay. I wonder if humans are going to start suffering from that and I, like with Vision Pro. And if so, we're definitely going to find out from you first. You just frightened me. Yeah, you, you should be frightened. You know how many hours a day I spend in here? That's what I mean. But luckily you're like a full-grown man. So you got True. that going. Maybe you're done like growing. Man. Yeah. Okay. We we got a full show, guys. It's Andrew Edwards. Give it up again. Our He's favorite dad and today. my only dad. Aww. <laughs> the <laughs> only one left. Um, okay. I have had three dads in my life, and Andrew's the only one left. That's it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You're welcome. Crazy. The first one okay, didn't it's want rare me. You get to be the third dad. Yeah. The first one didn't want me, so he doesn't really count. Second one okay. croaked. You're the one that is still alive and wants me. Andrew laughing? Edwards, my favorite person on the internet that's not Here Sam, but maybe also might be above Sam. I haven't decided yet. Either way, we're super happy to wait, have wait, him wait, 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 on the podcast. No, I think we should move on. March event? What? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought I heard. Okay. Okay. So, John asked Sam me. Oh, no. On. The watermark on, isn't on. even up. Is Genius Bar even real? There we go. Sam was on Geared Up recently, and what at the start of the show, hey, Sam said, and I quote, yeah, the, the, before you, though, Sam said out loud, he was so happy today when he woke up, not because of for any other reason than that he was hanging out with his best friend. Now, he said this on the show on Geared Up. He said this. Anyway, and March event, talking, March event, let's go. I was so talking there's, about there's a Ranger. chance, yeah, there's... <laughs> There's a chance that he was just playing it up for the camera, right? <laughs> Guys, dare. can we talk about some Apple news? Can we get can we get the drama <laughs> out of here? I'm trying to do Let's a show. Do like Let's is, do it. Let's do it. Okay. 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 I'm doing the show with a couple of old heads. And See I just how Sam get to the works news, behind the okay. scenes? I'm just saying. It's gross. Jeez. Jeez. It's gross okay. the way he works okay. behind. We'll if only that, somebody that. would come forward in the public to tell us. <laughs> Yes. Um, okay, let's start with the March event. Then we got some updates on some other drama situations. Then we got some Vision Pro stuff. Then we're going to send you guys home with a little nickel and send you guys box or something. I don't know. Okay. Um, we think there's going to be one. We think okay, there's going to be a March out. event. I need I've to been kind of back and forth on this. Can I tell the viewers a Even secret? Though Go ahead. I, before the show started, so I have a certain Vision Pro review that we've been working really hard. It's about to come out. Yes. And... I wanted Very to start exciting. teasing it, but I didn't want to put out a teaser for uh, a video that's going to drop this week and then Apple do their very Apple thing and drop an invite for an event that's going to happen early March and then cause me to lose the attention because instead of no. on Vision Pro Review, the attention will be on fucking uh, a kind of updated iPad and a kind of updated whoa, 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 whoa. Mac. Hold on, hold and that's on. what they would do. Hold on. So I, I'm not done. No, so no, I no, sat no. down with Sam and I said... What is a kind of updated iPad? I is said... what's coming? Hey, I said, hey, Sam, are they going to announce an event? Because he's the guy that would know. And he went looking and he didn't tell me until the show started, which was an evil maneuver, might I add. Yeah. John, you're talking about an invite is going to mess you up? Well, it's like an when, when, when an invite comes that. out... When an he invite comes out, people like Sam, well. people like Sam will start shifting the narrative to the whatever's coming. Oh, do, the what does the invite mean? What does it, what colors are coming? What, what's this mean? And then all the videos Here are about go. that. Yeah. So Here then you we have, go. 
Yeah, so then you have that happening, and then I drop a an, an, uh, review somewhere in the middle of that. I feel like that's bad juju. You do. You know why? No, I'm, it's not bad juju, and I'll tell you why right now, okay? When the event invite goes out, it's usually in the morning, right? It is. Everybody's racing. Let me make let me make a video about what Apple's dropping. Here's what's coming at the event, et cetera. These are all dropping in the afternoon. By the time you drop, usually when you drop your videos, if unless I'm incorrect, it's like in the evening. At least it is. evening it around has been wide, recently. right? Yeah. If so you're you are slow. giving us like you're rescuing us from all that trash that was happening earlier in the day. No one knows what's coming. Okay. Are you not calling for sure. Sam Cole content trash? Because that's what I trash. heard. What I'm saying is your word was trash. It's like it's like tabloid. It's like tabloid stuff happening in the morning. Oh my god! And yeah. then you come in the evening and you hit us with facts. You give us like a, you're rescuing us from from this. Um, I okay? you're you're right. I'm a hero. Correct. So I'm just saying, and guys, don't let it. You you're should, right. You should, in fact, I'm a fucking it hero. Should encourage you. I'm a it fucking hero. Live from the Genius Bar, we have actually Apple's SVP of Marketing, Andrew Yay! Edwards. We love there we go. Jaws. Hey, all I'm saying is, after watching several people saying this, you know that's how it is. Several people drop the same video saying the same things, right? Oh, but I just know. Just in their own way. I like how I have just abstained from that for like maybe a month, and somehow I'm. Out I was of it just about to say. Yeah, that is funny. I was just about to say you would do the same thing too. I would, yeah. But instead, if you're dropping this special <laughs> video that we all know, like I've got to see little bits and pieces here and there, uh -huh. that is that is going to be different. That's going to be Can something that people question, are like, Andrew okay, Edwards. please do, please do. Father, when is your yes. review coming out for Vision Pro? Because maybe I'll just, uh, maybe, you know, mm. like in NASCAR, when they just yeah. get right behind the other car to try to like, what's that called? They're using the overtake slipstream. No, they're using they're drafting. They're using they're using the they're draft drafting. from the other car. Yeah, are you? Can, I want to draft from your review. So like, when okay. is your review coming out? And I'll publish it like an like, hour after. I feel like my review not this coming week, but the following week. You're waiting um, a whole month. Sam, you're like, really, you're like Sam. Well, here's the thing, oh, Sam. Like, we were having late. a Facetime the other day. And Which he, I wasn't he invited to, but question. you know, I'm not keeping track. It's that wasn't my that's fault. That's literally He's untrue. It was literally in the group chat. Ah, basically. Yeah, true, true, of. true. Ah, got me <laughs> and there. So he just, we were talking, and he just asked me a question. And as I was answering the question about Vision Pro, I was yes. like unknowingly talking through my review and realized, because mm. I was having a hang up about reviewing this product, which was. I don't want to give it all away, but it's it's really it's really like it's this okay. Thing no one watches the show, matter. Andrew. Okay, great. You'll be no safe. This this thing right here does not matter, and the review can't be focused just on that. Ah, and so I'm gonna after the show. You might have to bigger. remind me. You might have to remind me. Mind I'll send what? you my script. Okay. Okay. So then you, you'll you'll you can visualize the review in your head before it's actually out. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. And I told you. In a, mess, in a message between you and I, I said it would be interesting if we had the same take I, on this. It sounded like we do. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm just going to tell you up front. Yeah, I feel like it might be. And so I think what you're working on and potentially what I'm working on is going to be different than what most people have seen in Vision Pro reviews. And it's going to be worth the wait. Oh, yeah. And then Sam is going to come in and beat us both. What do you mean, no? Sam don't even no. like Vision Pro, though. Yeah, I don't really like Vision Pro like that. Sam don't even like Vision Pro. I'm, I'm oh, I Sam. I did say last week, Andrew, he needs an Andrew Edwards intervention with that Vision is why Pro. You're here, but we're, guys, we're still Listen. talking about the March event. Can we? Sorry, sorry, we're, we're on March event. Okay, my, you're my, right. You're right. My apologies. March yeah, event. Apologies. Somehow, like always, John Prosser makes everything about him, and now we're oh, when am I uploading my video? When no, am I going to March event? Uh, March event. March event. Let's go. I'm so scared. I won't get my hundred thousand views, and I get every video because I crap out content. Oh, 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 okay. oh, honey, it's going to be more than that. <laughs> But also, Do uh, also, I asked you about this for this reason, and you said, you said this. Oh, I'm going to save it for the opening of the show. You did this to mm -hmm. me. All right. This right. is exactly what, what I learned. Here's what I learned. An actual event out of Cuba, like an event. Like, am I going to be traveling to Cupertino, or do we think it's just going to be, here's the press release drop, here's a 20-minute video with Craig Federighi. I think they did that with the last iPad Pro update two years ago. Yeah. It was just Craig but here's the showing thing. things. What do you think? I think, I just think a lot of people are like, okay, John, even as a joke, but I think a lot of people have this conception, but also don't, some people have this concept. Why do you do that to me? 
during my biggest <laughs> I just I feel like what you're about to, to say is very important. Yeah, we got to we got to get in there. Okay. Go ahead, Sam. Look right into the camera then. Yes. <laughs> because in just a few days, yes. Apple's going to be dropping their biggest iPad update in over 6 years. Wow. Can we get can we get uh, some music? Oh, there's the music. Okay, thank God. Okay. And I think a lot of people are just like, oh, it's going to be new iPad. It's going to be whatever. It's not going to be that big of a deal. No, it's going to yes. be a very big deal. And I can just tell by the interest <laughs> on the YouTube videos and the event in general that people are actually pretty much looking forward to some new iPads. Um, and, and well, I, think I watched that's because- your video, Sam. And in your video, you said the iPads are going to be just really thin, as thin as an iPod Touch. And I don't Thinner, think that's cool. Actually. You don't think that's, that's cool? A- actually sick what do you mean that's like the coolest thing that could possibly be is yeah. that then like a piece this is of paper what I'm that's scared like the of. ultimate vision for a tablet this is what i'm scared of <laughs> you are you are doing that thing where all apple does is make someone something very thin that is already very thin and you go mm. that changes everything that's johnny Ive right i don't there. say i don't Classic. no no i'm not saying it changes everything i'm saying that's really cool like you see the physics yet. that i'm afraid of making really large thing really thin also you see the problem Oh yeah, the yeah but that's why you buy the new five hundred dollar sure. metal case. There we that's, go. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it just <laughs> it's they're so thin already. They're kind of hard to hold because you don't have a lot to like your hands kind of cramp. They're so small, mm. and now and they're the going to be even gonna get thinner smaller too. They're even thinner. So like, what are we doing? Okay, let's 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 run through some of these rumors, and I I think let's go. I want to get. Some we reactions. need a okay. Sam's rumor corner because you're the only the one mini, that knows though? all this stuff. The mini, nobody cares about the mini. Well, the mini's not. Oh, we do. Can I hang up? How do I fucking kick this guy out of here? <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, I swear to God, don't do that to me. I can't take <laughs> oh, another loss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Um, larger 11.1 and 13 inch screens. We like that they're getting a little bit bigger. Sure. Yeah. I think it's cool. Is the, okay, the mini's cool. getting now, bigger too, isn't it though? No, the mini, we're not talking about the mini. I'm, I'm just worried about what this all means for my little guy. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, not, Why the wouldn't there be the a mini's mini coming though? later? The mini's doing later this year. It's just not coming now. But it is coming. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, she's a coming, honey. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's the mini. Tell anyway, me, back tell to me who's coming Pro. first. The iPad Pro is, is, is arriving to the station promptly uh, at this event. And the second thing we're hearing, and I think Andrew's right, I think that means that the bezels are going to be a little bit slimmer. And I think, I think this could either be notch or dynamic island time. For the iPad Pro, I think it's time. The bezels have been the exact same for six years. They and that—that's what I'm saying. Like the iPhone changes bezels just a little bit every couple of years, but like the fact that Apple has literally not changed the screen. I mean, they put the mini LED, which is like eh, fine. It's not a big deal, but we've got OLED coming. That's like the big thing. OLED on an iPad. We've been hearing yeah. about OLED for like four years now, so I'm going to be glad when it's finally here. Also, I'm, it's I have subscribed. I'm I'm a subscriber to the belief that the bezels have been perfect for a long time. So why that's why they haven't changed them. They're like just the right amount of size for holding, but also very thin and very small. Uh, they're uniform, which is also amazing. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think we are getting they, a notch. We need to see progress. We need to see progress. Okay, so I, I, I think, think I'm trying not I, to I freak out. I'm trying not to freak out. I just what? don't understand how progress means make them like why does why is that progress just making them smaller and putting a dynamic island. Because notch or a Dude, notch, you like they were sound good. like you're 80 years old. No, they, they why the, do the, I the need the iPhone 15? I got the 12. They were perfectly What's aesthetic the and perfectly the usable already. The same? But you can't just stay there. There's you another, yeah, there. but there are other ways to make progress. It's not just make bezel smaller. What is this I, fucking 2018 right. Samsung That's device? One of the changes there will be they're more. making. Yeah, but, but, here, you know, Apple is all about like the whole product line so like if the new ipad pro looks similar to like the macbook pro and you just took the screen off i think that's what they're kind of going but in two years when they update the ipad pro again whenever they feel like it the iphone isn't gonna have the dynamic island anymore we don't know that it might have what, a you, sir, what are you asking for what what do you want john i'm just yeah, countering i'm just countering the belief that it's to make all the products look the same because they won't look the same well, I, no, I mean, right now, they'll look the same now. They're not going to try and make it look the same for a product that's not out yet. You got me. Looking at the same now. <laughs> you got me. Checkmate. <laughs> Dad got your ass. So, okay, I, I also, a lot of people are like, where are you going to grab them? Like, the, the iPad has always had really good, like, fingerprint, like, rec, like our hand palm yeah, rejection and stuff. So I'm sure that 
they will have figured that out. And I also don't think it's like, I just think the ultimate vision for the tablet should be like as close to a thin, like a piece of paper as you can. Like uh, the Remarkable 2 thing. Have you seen that tablet? They were a sponsor. It's actually really yep. cool. Like I, I unironically use it You're the it only all place the I've seen them. You still use it? Um, yeah. No, I actually use it every day for like my note thing. It wasn't just like a, a lot of sponsors, like I will like test out and be like, oh, I can't really find a fit in for like me, but I know people will enjoy them. But yeah, right. like other stuff sticks like it works in my personal workflow all the time that like i will continue to use in the remarkables is one of them that's remarkable like, but i asked them to send me a keyboard because i like their type folio and if i think they're going to be stingy i think they're not going to send me the keyboard which i'm really pisses me off <laughs> yeah anyway going back to this new ipad that is going to have a new keyboard okay maybe you're not in okay i asked for your reactions you're right that's your reaction is that's not progress fair enough king what if okay. i told you that this is essentially going to be a MacBook now. Starting to sound like no. progress, no. but also in a no, very no. confusing direction. Hold on, it's hold gonna, on, hold on. It's it's going to be. A I have computer. a problem. I have a problem with. I have a problem with switching to this topic real quick. If I can okay. just drop this. Switching. We're going from what John said was under, or he didn't say, but the intimation was that this is underwhelming. If this is the only update, and we're immediately when you say this other thing, this is an accessory. So we, we're just done with the iPad itself then. I guess. But to no, be fair to Sam, like, it's hard to have a complete iPad experience without the accessories, which is very sneaky of Apple to do. But, like, I've never, right. other than iPad mini, well, no, because I've still got the, I still have the folio case for iPad mini or whatever they call it. Uh, it's hard to have an iPad with zero accessories. Like, I wonder what the number of people with iPads with no accessories, sure. no Apple Pencil, mm. no keyboard, not even a case. That's a good but, point. It's a good point. But you, the standalone product has to have more changes than just it's an OLED display that's thinner and has a notch. It has to be more. Okay, than that. Let, let's talk. Okay, we didn't really dive into the thin part. We are hearing that this new iPad Pro is going to be five. So the big one, the small one's going to be the eleven point one inch iPad Pro is going to be five point one millimeters. The yes, thirteen inch iPad, the the slab of glass is going to be five millimeters thin. Actually, I want to see yeah. how thin is the Remarkable. I'm going to look that up right now because they said it's the world's um, thinnest tablet. So let's see what the Remarkable is. Well, oh. oh, so theirs is 4.7 millimeters. So they oh, would wow. retain that. But I mean, dude, that thing is ridiculous. Yeah. I can't imagine that a full-featured nice. iPad with an OLED screen. I mean, I'm dude, I'm telling you, People are going to see these and the iPad's going to feel exciting again. I'm just straight up. I, I can just feel it. I can, I can see, I literally no. see the marketing unveil video right now. And it's like, this is, this is exciting. It's not, Ugh. okay. And there, this John, is the this same one's for you. person that thinks Vision Pro isn't cool. That's <laughs> not, that is not what I said. That iPad, is not what but I said. make iPad thinner and now you have his attention. Exciting. No, even. one of these on your head, sir. Me? <laughs> yeah, John. Yeah, when's the last time you? Yeah. Hit? God, you keep last jumping the boat. Said. We're not talking about Vision Pro until later in the show. Can okay, I'm sorry. Please get through my little diatribe, please, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so then, were you trying to do Alex Jones there? Because that was pretty good. No, I was actually trying to do like kind of a Beetlejuice <sighs> kind of deal. I was at Universal. Mm, gotcha. It was okay. really fun. Um, Mario hitting those blocks. We got an M3 chip coming i know andrew this is right up your alley like they call you mr m3 in high school so this is <laughs> they sure do, they sure do. <laughs> i mean i'm gonna be honest they could they could put like an a6 chip in here and i'd be like whoa it's really fast well maybe a little bit better than an a6 but point being oh but I, if it's thinner it's exciting yeah yeah that you hurt me inside Dude, you're saying that the difference between an M2 and an M3 would excite you more than it getting really thin and looking I didn't say like I was crazy? About any of it? <laughs> I'm excited. Yes, because okay, this. we'll get we'll get to your issues later in the show. It's, we're gonna have a little John okay. therapy session. Okay, later. Is it, the thing that we're missing is what can you what new can you do with it that you did you do try to did, did you make it sound like that on purpose, Doctor Seuss? I'm not done. What new can you do? No, Wait, sorry. <laughs> So we got it thin. It's going to look incredibly sleek. And I, I, as an Apple analyst, I will say a lot of people do not take into account how important the aesthetics of things are. And okay. Apple realizes this. And I'm glad that Apple realizes this because the aesthetics of products are important and they do catch people's eyes. And that's like 
Just to bring it back to Vision Pro, the eye-sided display is a huge part of Vision Pro's success because it doesn't look like anything else. Is it? What does the eyesight do? Really not that much, but we're talking about Apple is a marketing company. They're not a tech company. They're a marketing company. And if they can do an ad where they show like three pieces of paper, I'm ex- exaggerating a bit, but they show those stacked up, a few pieces of paper stacked up, and then they pull an iPad out, that's genuinely impressive. And that would make it, I believe, the the thinnest, highest performance tablet in the world. Mm-hmm. And that is in, that's impressive. That catches people's attention. They're going to walk by that I in the store so. and be like- what it, do I do, do I do I sound bitter? Because I feel yes. like I'm just like I just don't think it's not 2007 anymore. Like, how can we be impressed by? I think like when we were actively trying to make things thinner, it was during a time where the thinness actually affected your usability of this product. Now things are so thin. That I feel like we're above that. We have passed that. So going, oh, look, it's as thin as five pieces of paper isn't the impressive thing that we're saying it is currently. Like, it's already, the iPad is impressively thin already. Nothing wrong with it getting thinner. And talking about aesthetics, like, we're just ruining the aesthetics by putting a notch or dynamic island, one could argue. The problem is... No one is buying an iPad because it's thinner. No one's buying an iPad because it's thinner. So Sam is. We still look at this an, boy. Uh, right, but I'm talking about... <laughs> Sam's going to buy all of them. <laughs> it's like, what... Again, it goes back to the question. This is an iPad Pro, right? Mm-hmm. So what does it do that the last one did not do? That's And now the, do we need an I'm iPad Air even? No, this, brings to, yeah, this brings us back to yeah. This brings us back, Sam. This brings us back to our conversation about fixing the iPad line. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. collectively in that conversation, Sam and I nixed the iPad Air. Yeah, don't need it anymore. That was terrible. Name doesn't. What do you mean it was terrible? <laughs> we need, we, the Air. Us needs, the fixing. Air oh yeah, we're sorry for assuming the responsibility that no one else has of fixing the entire there. iPad lineup. Just two men on a podcast trying to fix an entire company's lineup. For the better. Yeah, we apologize. That's fine. In fact, we're, we're getting a second, not to get ahead of myself, but we're getting another air. You are getting ahead of yourself. I'm still trying to get to the damn iPad Pro. It's okay, like my two iPad kids Pro. are like, listen, I want ice listen. cream. I want snacks. And I just want to talk about the iPad Pro. What, okay. can, what is this iPad going to allow us to do? For example, for example, one of the big rumors, MagSafe on the back. Can't just be for charging because that's not something that you can do with it. What is that? What else is that going to let us do? Look at this boy. <laughs> what do you mean? It's gonna it's gonna charge. That's what MagSafe no, no, no. is for is charging. No, no. What I what I'm saying is okay. MagSafe on the back of the iPhone is for charging, right? Are there other uh-huh. accessories that don't charge that snap onto here? Oh, that means it's well, not just creative. for charging. Now you're it's not creative. just for charging. Okay? Yeah, you could get a, you could put a MagSafe wallet on your iPad Pro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like, are, are we going to be able to MagSafe it to oh. third-party speakers and make a smart? Like, what what else is this going to mm. allow us to do that we couldn't do before? That Upgrade is where the third-party that really going to be. What? Just Wait, blow that's a really good idea. See, okay, that's a good point. MagSafe coming. So, but we've also heard MagSafe could potentially be a port, and I do think, I do think, if the iPad's supposed mm. to be a computer. USB-C port, MagSafe port, charge. It no longer takes up your USB-C. It's thin that enough. That would be nice. That would be nice. You know what makes me think that actually is more realistic than on the back? Because I agree that there are some sick applications and maybe they do both, right? Maybe they add like MagSafe charging on the back and then uh, port, port might be a bit insane though in Apple. But we are hearing this is going to be more of a laptop because we're hearing that the new Magic Keyboard getting into the accessories of which there will be a number of significant yep. updates. It's going to have an aluminum top case just like a MacBook. And it is going to feel much more premium than it does now. Right now, it's like a polyurethane kind of soft that I sort of showed mine on camera in my, my recent video. It's got a bunch of stains on it. It's kind of dirty. It just, I, I've had this thing for, I've had that keyboard for probably two or three years at this point for my 12.9 inch. And it, stupid, this stupid thing right here. Oh, you don't you know, like it? He's bringing out the stupid material, words. This material sucks. Mine is not stained at all. You know why? I'm, because yeah, I didn't I, even use it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Uh, why don't you like it? What don't you like about the material and stuff? It's gross. It, it, because it's it, is, it is very, uh, I want to say fragile. That's not the right word, but you know what I'm saying. It's like they, yeah. they, the dark one They is just fine. use the same materials as a lint roller. <laughs> <laughs> and it's then just, yeah, put just, keys just, on it and sold strange. it to us. 
I, I've I kind of like the softness of it, but I will say, okay, we're hearing it's going to become more like a MacBook. So does that mean the magic keyboard, maybe, maybe the magic keyboard has MagSafe built into it now. Maybe the magic keyboard has an additional USB-C port. Maybe the magic right. keyboard has some extra stuff built in to make it more laptop if Apple doesn't want to put it in the actual tablet. And I have to say, I hear this and I'm like, okay, that sounds cool. It sounds more like a computer. My problem is if we just get this and it is still running iPad OS 17.3. Oh yeah, of course. That's that's of course what it's going to run. What the hell else would it run? I don't know. Maybe something decent. But I'm saying, What's what wrong? the hell else would so, the iPad run? Mac OS. Only iPad OS. It's iPad Mac OS. OS. It's literally, Why would it's it literally run called Mac iPad OS. OS. I, man, Mac I'm OS is in the name, it. Sam. That's Macs know. run that. Can we just, uh, we aren't defending iPad OS 17 as a platform, right? What's wrong Pretty, with iPad OS? There's nothing wrong with iPad OS. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sam's buffering. What do, you, what do you mean? What? I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with iPad OS. There's nothing wrong this with iPad This is where OS. you come in and say what is wrong with it. Yeah, what is wrong with iPad OS? Tell us. Give us a list of top five things. Number is one, go. Just, just for like a, is this just for a bit for the show or like you guys, <laughs> you guys actually think that iPad OS is, f- what? What do you mean? <laughs> you, uh, you want me to start? Okay, I'll start listing. Yes, please uh, do, sir. File management is atrocious. Okay. I'm not arguing anything. I'm just asking you to list them. Just listen. Okay. Okay. I, did, I thought we were just going to okay, get but, some pushback. But file management is atrocious, could be fixed in iPad. It doesn't. It doesn't require Mac OS to fix. They could just fix that in iPad OS. But go okay. on. That is a very bad experience. The pro apps that are on the iPad are not usable in the same way with the same level of plugins and functionality as a Mac. The yes. third big issue with iPad OS as a platform is it is incredibly locked down like the iPhone. The Mac is an open platform and the iPad to be a successful computer as the entire industry has shown for computers since the dawn of computers should be an open platform. Okay, yeah. there's a reason yeah. that Apple... It, they should be doing that. Like the, the iPad Yet should not the be future, locked down like the iPhone. The future of Apple's computers is Vision Pro, which is also locked down. So in other words, I don't think Apple sees that as a problem. Well, yeah, Apple doesn't see a lot of things as a problem. And yet, there, you know, there are some issues there that we got to talk about, like iPad OS. I am concerned. I am concerned um, about that, but go on. I think that the icons and the home screen on the iPad OS is silly. That doesn't really make sense for a big screen in 2024. That was great when people didn't know how to use tablets, but now we'd like something more, something a bit. We, 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 need, we need to rethink of what a tablet-first operating system is. Mm-hmm. Right now, we still have iOS on the iPad that mm-hmm. doesn't do as much as the Mac, that mm-hmm. splits the difference in a way that makes this a silly, unimaginably dumb purchase for anybody that isn't that doesn't have a lot of extra income. That's well, just what the iPad why is. Would a we tertiary expect, device is fun. Why would we up. expect a new iPad that's launching just a few months before WWDC to run something totally different than the other ones as opposed to iPad OS 18 being what addresses hopefully some of these things. Because Andrew, we've been saying this for a decade. We've literally been saying, oh, this dub dub, it's they're gonna really crack it. So what they need to do is they need to get a grip on reality, stop waiting, and just nuke it. Nuke everything iPad OS is. Rest- I-, I want an iOS 7 moment for iPad. I don't even want to recognize what the iPad looks like. Yes, Mr. Prosser. Um, I have a follow-up <clears throat> to your um, claims here. Yeah, what's up, bro? Your claims are that it's a dumb purchase currently, and it should be more like a Mac. My, and a, d- the, a dumb purchase for anyone that doesn't have an, a lot of extra money. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Max exists. My, f- my follow up question is what sells more, iPads or Macs? iPads. iPads too. But why? Could it Could. maybe be because it's not like a Mac and it's easier than a Mac for the most, f- for most people? Yes. Most people don't want, uh, an open platform where they can download everything they can on a Mac or don't need all that. And maybe they liked it. It's simpler. And that's their only computer. You're saying most people who own an iPad, that's their only. I'm saying, I, I'm so saying they don't want a PC a lot of people. that's not, I said iPads are at least currently more successful than Mac sales. Mm-hmm. And I think that we should explore why 
Could it be okay. because of all the reasons you listed iPads are bad? I could tell you the reason of why iPads sell more right now if you just give me a second. <laughs> okay. You have so many seconds. <laughs> this is passive and, aggressive. Okay, okay. It's I your just, podcast. I didn't want to know. You have I, so I many seconds. Because this is a big answer. I'm not sure you guys have ever thought about this one before because you're both. Um, uh, yeah, money. The it. iPad costs half as much as any Mac that Apple has ever sold ever. The money. That's why they of sell course. more iPads. Okay. Yeah, and okay. it's fun. I think my tablet's fun. But I have a question then. If, if the iPad but is a device- But you said it was for people that had all this mo extra money to spend. Half the money doesn't sound like extra money. Right. Your argument that you're making is silly to suggest that people are going to the iPad because it's a simpler computer. That's what you're mm -hmm. saying, right? That's why the iPad is successful. It's the crux of what you're- Yes. Okay, yeah. I mean, I think that's- I, I didn't feel like I was being unfair there. Um, uh, cheaper and, and simpler. Yeah, my argument is that no Simpler one- Simpler for money too. Almost no one, of course I'm generalizing, um, only has an iPad for their computer. All those people that are, you know, not fortunate enough to maybe have Mac, iPad, iPhone, everything, are also gonna then own a PC or some well, other- How are Mac you sure home. about saying that, those words? You're no, saying- uh, There's so many people that don't have either. Like a, a lot of people that I know in my life- Regular, the regular ones, not like people like us. <laughs> not the <laughs> they don't even have like gone are the days of having like a computer in your house. They just have their phone. Yep. Because the phone does right. all things you will go compute for. That internet, a lot of those Twitter, people are like email and porn. It does all of them, and it does all of them. A lot of those really well. Are like oh, I need something bigger. Oh, this is just like my phone. I, I would like to have a bigger. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get this. Yeah, mm, got a got a quick follow up then. Hit me with your follow up. As I continue on my satirical, dehumanizing <laughs> rant against you guys. Okay. Um, why have iPad sales been declining since 2014? I mean, because we're not getting any new ones. <laughs> because iPads last so long. iPads are something you replace when it's broken. As opposed PC to sales, when PC sales, PC sales haven't declined since 2014. PC sales actually grew for quite some time. If you actually look well, at the, that, peak, the, the people needing you know PCs why? are the people wanting the wanting the things that new PCs not offer. Just, that's not just that though. PCs are the vast majority of PC sales are enterprise. Vast sure. majority. Sure. So but companies are just about, buying PCs. But in fact, not this might iPads. go. This might help. This might go with your argument, Sam. Like. People don't need iPads a lot because one, they buy it, and the chip is going to be fast enough for so many years—five years at least. Yeah. You won't even notice. Uh, but also, they all look the same, so there's not there's not even the social aspect of like, oh, you got the new one, because mm -hmm. most of them look the same. And it, it maybe you got to look closer to see how many lenses are on the back or something. I don't know, but they mostly look the same. So maybe this year, maybe this year when they look a little different or a lot of different. With the thinness, maybe that'll maybe make may people buy them more iPads. No, unfortunately, I don't buy that. Isn't the, the biggest seller? Unfortunately, I don't buy that. And I, the reason I actually feel so confident talking about this is because I actually did too much research on the entire for a video that's definitely coming out, right? No, video's done. This is the video. No. Hey, everybody, enjoy the video. So here's the deal: uh, <laughs> tablet sales have declined since 2014, and if you actually look very interestingly, now it, there was a little spike with the pandemic. It's, I personally see it's that it's almost as a fluke. like phones have gotten bigger since then. Uh, yeah, since 2014, phones have definitely gotten quite a bit bigger. Um, uh, one of my arguments for why I don't think the iPad Mini really makes sense in 2024, but that's sort of a Fucking separate story why? for a different day. You don't have to um, hurt me. You don't have to hurt me on the show. The point I'm trying to make is if you actually look at the, you know, every, every tech product has a bell curve, right? You call it sort of uh, the innovation curve. People might say there's, there's another word, but basically it's the life cycle of a product, right? It starts here. This, so vision pro we could do. There's going to be an early adopter phase. That's where we are right now. And then a few years down the road, it peaks. That's going to be like mass adoption. I believe the iPhone peaked in 2014 or 2015. With iPhone 6? Or, or no, it, I'm sorry. It the 20... iPhone peaked a couple of years later. That, that was like the most iPhones Apple ever sold. But I think the way the Sam. numbers distribute, distribute across the years, it was different. So the iPad let me finish sales... this up real quick. Okay, I just wanted to say, iPad sales have risen every year since 2019. Yes, because that was when the pandemic started. Um, so let me let me sort of finish this. So the iPad, great idea, right? 
everybody's calling this the next iPhone. Apple wanted to double down on an iPhone moment. They released the iPad. The iPhone's starting to blow up. They can see the projections, the sales numbers. iPhone releases in 2007, and yes. it peaks, let's, around 2017, like around that time, about a decade. The tablet as a concept came around in about 2009 was when like the first, maybe 2008 was like the earliest tablet. Tablets peaked in 2014, just six years later. My argument that is that for a product to truly be like a iPhone PC level of success, you would see that innovation curve grow continually over time before peaking much higher. What the iPad did is grew really, really quick, really, really fast, and then has slowly started to die down as people have realized, I only actually need two devices. I need a Mac or a PC, and I need an iPhone. And a lot of people will find that middle device just doesn't make sense for them because an iPad does a little bit of what your phone and, and computer do separately, but if you actually look at them in isolation, your phone is a really good phone and your, mm -hmm. your PC, your computer is a really good PC and you can work most efficiently on either of those devices separately. The iPad is fun. I use an iPad almost every day to watch content and movies and I love touching on the screen and it's fun. But if tomorrow somebody asked you, what two devices can you live with? You have to pick between iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Almost every person would cut out that iPad if they said for the rest of your life, you get phone and computer or phone and tablet. I think that's a wild assertion. I don't agree. Okay. I personally believe that the majority of Americans, and I don't know other countries very well, but I believe the majority of Americans would choose uh -huh. PC form factor and phone form factor. I mean, the same could be said if you had to pick one, a phone or a computer. Like, you're going to pick a phone. Every, you, oh, you, no, we, I would it's pick hard, a computer. No, it's hard to compare pro a product that you need societally with one that isn't that doesn't fill the same necessity. It can still be a good product, even if you don't need it like you need your phone. Most, most With that argument, most Americans would choose their phone over having a, a PC. Yeah, most maybe not. Would. Maybe not you but i think even you too like if it really came down to it you still need to talk to people you still need to be able to communicate no matter where you are that's true from like a standpoint, yeah. like from a necessity standpoint you probably still choose your phone i yeah, don't know how the I'll hell switch. we would work but uh that's uh, that, this is a hypothetical situation um a lot of people like when we were going through our uh we had this conversation a few episodes ago. I don't know. People were in the comments that you don't read talking about how Sam has completely forgotten like artists and why people use iPad and choose iPad. It's like for those people that choose that device, it's not just a bigger thing, a bigger version of their phone or whatever. Like they're all the iPad does a lot in niche categories for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And But you uh, hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's not an. It's not an. It's not a product like an i. I would never expect iPads to do as well as any phone because we need phones, like need them societally. We have made that a necessity, not necessarily Apple or any company in particular, but like people have made. Now, if if you didn't have a cell phone, people would look at you funny. Yeah, my my whole argument is that I think the tablet is just a mid idea. Hmm. Like, it's just fine. It's, it's sick, but everyone was expecting the iPad to be the next iPhone. And it turns out, I believe, and I believe the computer market and everything we've seen in the past decade represents that when people are given the choice to use a computer to work or an iPad to work, they're going to pick the computer. So my, my argument is that if Apple really wants the iPad to be a big upgrade, if they want this thing to mm -hmm. actually be not a third device, but like a necessary device. They have to rethink it from the ground up or it's just going to continue to be in the middle ground, which is question. fine. Yeah. And I'm not being an asshole. This is a real question. Yeah. Uh, why do you think the iPad has to be like, like the iPhone? Or like, why do you think it has to be the next iPhone? Why can't it just be its own product line that's, that's supposed to be that product line? Like, I wonder why every time Apple announces something, we go, oh, that's the next iPhone. Like, why, why isn't it just another product they offer? Yeah. Nothing will ever be the next iPhone, ever. I mean, I just look at this from like a growth perspective as a company. Investors don't want to see sales growing. stay the same. 
Well, they had, they had a bump because of the pandemic, and then there's been a huge pushback in recent quarters. Is that's there has it. Sort of Every out. single year since 2019, it has sold more than the previous year. So 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's five uh, years of growth. What, what's your source? They have, on that they have, data? They I, have I, sold more every year. I I think if you start to look, there is a slowdown happening. But I did I did quite because a bit of research. Because they haven't put maybe, out any new ones, dude. They're not selling any new ones for two right. years. Right. They're still growing, and they haven't given us a new one in two years. Just give us a new one, and maybe people will buy it. Hopefully. Okay. I that, so that was my whole argument. I want to hear what you guys think. What does the iPad need to do? Because it sounds like I'm hearing you guys say like you're very happy with the iPad. And it's pretty cool. It's, and that's okay. It's not that I'm, um, it's not about happiness with the iPad for me. It's more, I think sometimes people who do what we do in our line of work take our views and preferences for things and then blanket that to everyone. Yeah. So if the iPad sells, which it does. It sells about three times as many iPads per Mac every year. So for every one Mac sold, Crazy. there's three iPads sold. To me, that tells me looking at that data, people, people are spending money there. They're choosing that more than they're choosing to buy a Mac. I personally know people, now this is obviously anecdotal. I know people who own iPads and don't own phones or computers. That is their device, the iPad. Now, obviously yeah. I know people who just use phones and I know people who just use computers and so yeah. it runs again. But my point is if all these people are buying iPads, that means people like them. Not and just also, during a pandemic. People the, generally like these things. Also, it's like, I get the argument that uh, some iPads are half the price of, of any Mac, but like the most popular iPad is the iPad Pro. And then like iPad Air. And is that then, the case? I, I thought it was the it, entry it, level it, iPad that sold see, the most. So, so I, this is what's tough about the data. We've got these auxiliary sources saying that 50% of iPad sold are iPad Pros and about 50% are like iPad Air and other. But those data sources didn't even account the iPad Mini. And I also question- Which is like probably takes- actually, It probably fucks one. with the numbers That's so right, much. That's 100%. Yeah. yeah. I just- So what- <laughs> Really what I was trying to highlight with this argument is like something's up with the iPad and it's a fluke when compared to other major tech product categories. And I'm trying to understand why. Hmm. Like I just, there's something the up dude, with this Dude, I, I just, can I take a second to personally scold you? Yeah. <laughs> Sam Cole, you are like the most frustrating human content creator person. Behind the scenes, Sam has fucking bangers in the bank. He's got, like I said last week, career-altering <laughs> ideas that he just doesn't do. And now really. here we are sitting by here, sitting with this thing where he he has he clearly has a stance on iPad, and he could probably change my mind if he just laid it all out for me. And exp and this is a I want this to be explored. And the person who has done all the exploring and all the research is sitting right here, and he won't put out a fucking video about it to explain it to me. But he has the video idea. Why ha why haven't you made this video? It's such a good video, and you're just sitting here with Andrew Edwards and I giving us the video. That's because you guys are my buds. But why you don't you make the video? It's so good. I, okay. What do you, let's start here. Yeah. Do you think Apple turning the iPad into more of a computer than it is now is a good idea or a bad idea? I, think I, I, don't, think, I don't think there's a right answer, to be clear. Optionally, it's a good idea. Okay. So when I say that, I mean giving people the option to make it that way is a good okay. idea. If they forced it, I do not think it would be a good idea. Okay. I, I, I that, completely agree. Forcing it, just making iPad OS more Mac OS like is not the is not the thing. If anything, I would lean into what makes iPad iPad, even if it does sound niche. Like the artistry aspect of it all, lean even further. Uh, the school aspect. Every school has a fuckload of iPad Pros. Like that's what they use for for learning and stuff. Like it's great for that. iPad has its own purpose, but also you're still you're talking to the same guy that thinks iPad Mini is the most iPad iPad ever because it sticks to the original vision of just doing iPad things, and 
That is right. where the argument gets murky. Like my favorite thing about the iPad mini is where the argument of why does anyone need an iPad comes into play because I'm just using iPad mini to do like content consumption and like I'm not trying to do anything crazy on my iPad. And that's why I love iPad mini so much, but I don't think that sells iPads. That's interesting because that just made me realize if you look at everything in Apple's portfolio, the Mac, iPhone, like all these things, they have different sizes, but they do the same thing, right? Whether you get a Pro or a Pro Max, they do this pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Whereas you look at the iPad line, the different sizes are like vastly different use cases than each other. Mm. Hmm. The yeah. mini, you're not going to, you can't use an iPad Pro in a way you can use a mini. Right, you can use an, you can use an iPhone Pro and Pro Max. The, same way. <laughs> the iPad Mini so, literally lives in my bed. It's what replaces my phone at nighttime. My phone hmm. charges, and because I'm an adult, and my iPad Mini is just a little a portal of fun. That's all it is, and it's so comfy, and it's just the right size for bed. Oh, I love the iPad Mini. John, when I think you're, you're not going to attach a keyboard to that and like do real. Work. Oh, I would never. Oh, want he to. would. Not get he to. would. I bet if one came out, he'd he'd all over that. He'd be like, "I want another portal. I'm going to double down on my portal." Of fun. Um, okay, so it sounds like you guys say, uh, "Okay, you know what?" And I agree. And the reason I haven't made that video is I don't have the ending, but I think I have the ending now. Good, make it. Right, don't tell, say I'm the gonna ending. Tell, I'm going to tell everybody the ending. No, no, you I'm just gave it. me. Don't ruin it. I need to finish what I'm saying here to All be right, say it, clear. Say it, Basically, say it, say it. if Apple's been splitting the difference for so long and it's not working, they need to try something new. My argument is they need to either A, go full laptop, or B, go full tablet. Stop trying to make the iPad everything for everybody because it clearly has not been really working. Are you, but are you saying that increasing sales every year, even though they haven't released a new one in two years, is not working? The... Do you mean working for that, you, that Sam sales Cole? Bump, it, that sales bump is not representative of the of the broader... That sales bump is because of COVID and everybody being inside. Uh, PC Co sales. COVID is, all, is, all, is, all, is, is over-ish. Even, even 2022 yes. was more than 2021. Uh, yes. <laughs> what, if you, with this argument, there's been enough years as there were years where it declined. So like what... what right. How come this argument is bad, but like that eight, argument is good? Down and I, I still a think it the work... I still believe the work from home phenomena lasted. I mean, I, I think the work from home phenomena is probably ended at the end of 2023 when people really started going back to the office or sorry, middle of 2023. And that's why we are now seeing a pullback in iPad sales is because that mm. pandemic bump is over. That's just my guess. Again, I don't know. This is not my specialty, but. Yeah. And obviously is, we don't, what, what the fuck do we know? We have been working yeah. from home since always and probably sound uninjured. But my so, question, I mean, like w the part of your question was, what does Apple need to do since it's not working? Yeah. But how do you define not working? It seems like it is working. That's a fair point. Um, is it, the iPad Pro is just not worth it. Like for most people, it's just not worth it. Like for artists mm. and stuff, it's fantastic. And like, I think as a niche device, it's great. But like, I'm not happy with, I mean... An iPad Pro with a Magic Keyboard 12.9 inch costs more than an M2 MacBook Air. So let me ask you this. No one's buying that iPad Pro over an iPad Air for that price. So it's not about not working and it's more about seeing the value clearly as you move up the line that you don't see today. Is that correct? Y yeah, yes, because they're asking for computer money Mm -hmm. But you don't get a computer experience. Uh, but gonna, it's really pretty and an awesome. Aneurysm. It's really pretty and awesome. And I, I will spend because I'm lucky and fortunate. I will spend fifteen hundred dollars on an iPad Pro every year because I want like the latest right. case. But I'm a freak. I, I'm the not the minority. That's so I'm us. saying to make this That's work us. for yeah, to make this work for most people, you need to either make it a more compelling computer for that price, or like redo the software and be able to offer that at all price points to make it an insanely good tablet. Mm. Because we have just been flip-flopping and I I believe without the pandemic bump, that, and hey, maybe my theory is wrong, but I do really think the pandemic is what made iPad sales go back up. I mean, you can literally see it mirrors the pandemic in my opinion. That could be, but the pandemic also increased laptop sales. 
Correct. So it just it is this like yeah, it just the, was an the pandemic. Shift. The pandemic was. I mean, this sounds terrible, but it was literally the best thing that happened to my career and the channel. It was like everyone, I'm sorry to say it that way, but like the same argument could be used for my YouTube channel as the iPad. It's like everyone yep. was stuck at home watching videos and I was the videos. So Yeah, I got a pandemic bump as well. It was cool, but it's obviously I'm very, not I'm, I'm very sorry about the pandemic. I didn't do it, but I'm very sorry about it. It was him, I, guys. I, but yeah, it's like- He sneezed on that old lady. Yeah, whoops, damn. Here's the question, okay? And this is obviously yeah. moving forward in this conversation a little bit. So we could pull back if you don't like this question. Okay. But I'm following what you said a minute ago about the value proposition. Is OLED and thinness possibly MagSafe moving the camera to the side and hopefully some other yeah, things we that we that. don't know about? Right. Looking at the new iPad Pro that we're expecting and also considering that we are likely getting a new air with a new size. So that's going to does be a that problem. do enough for the pro to make the value exist or does the bigger air make the pro even less compelling now? Yeah, that's, the that's makes where the pro I less compelling. Yeah. Because the bigger air is going to Like, is there sales? something There's, Apple can do for the Pro to make it compelling, even in a world where there are now two sizes of air? And make it compelling Absolutely. without the new accessories is the trouble. Are we expecting Absolutely. the air to also get an M3, or will that just jump up to M2? And then the Air's Pro will get jump an M2. To M2. No way they put an M3 in the air. Ain't no way. It's going to be M2. And I'm sure the air will also I think I have said that about M1, and they did that. Yeah, I mean, just the. F I, but you see what they're doing? They're they're basically like, Apple, look, it's a computer. It feels like Apple it's doesn't just give like a shit. Mac. Like they will put these chips anywhere, just as a fuck you. I do. I unironically but they had do so want many M twos that went unsold. Yeah, chips. unironically, I I want an M one chip in my iPhone. Like dead. I I want to. I do want an oh, M series chip. I just think it'd be fun. Not for any particular. I just think I'd be fun to be like, I have a Mac chip in my phone. The um, man who, you could who say that to most battery people life now. all the time wants an M series chip. True. All right. I want to share an idea about battery life. Let's let's take a break from the March event and have this conversation. Okay. I wholeheartedly believe, and this is an idea I've had for a while. Apple should stop all iPhone progress and development for one year. And every engineer in the company should be focused on one thing, and that's battery. No. I think, <laughs> I firmly believe, now this might only be true in the US, so maybe other markets, they're a global company, and that's probably why they don't do it. But I firmly believe if Apple released new phones and they just said, we have doubled the battery life, that phone would sell like no iPhone has ever sold before. I think they it, have already, I think they already have that answer. Which is, no, I th I think that they are actively working on what the next battery technology is that will double the life, and they're not going to take a year off of working from their flagship product to focus on battery life. If they already, I think they already have the answer, and it's just not ready to be, they're it's not ready to be thrown in the mix yet. Like we are, they're already working on iPhones without a dynamic island. They were doing that before dynamic island was even out, but obviously they didn't come yeah. out first. So it's like, and Apple's very incremental with this stuff, and there's going to be a year where there isn't a lot of iPhone update happening and that's going to be the year to pull the trigger on crazy new battery technology. I just need a better battery and I think if everybody I agree. saw a better battery, we need a better battery. Yeah, I agree. Grab okay, back to an the iPhone Plus. Plus. Give me an iPhone battery. Ultra don't, battery don't where stop. Yeah, give me an iPhone <sighs> Ultra where I don't where like with my Apple Watch I'll try to to charge it for like 3 or 4 days. Yeah. That's what, but then it would be big. Yeah. And, and I just think you phones. just can't say like everybody, like that would be like saying everybody work on the camera next year. It's like, I, I work on software. How can I work on a hardware camera? Like, <laughs> Figure it out, fill it out. out. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling like, you, every person on TikTok would be like, I'm buying this phone, better battery. Every person there was even on a, TikTok. There was even a recent survey. There was a recent Everyone survey. Everyone knows Apple's main market is TikTok users. 
There, there was a recent survey I saw that it was like, what would you, what would make you buy a new phone? And the number one thing by a number of percent was better battery life. That mm. will make people buy a new they've phone. Had, what they've is made Apple it, not but they have improved battery life every year since iPhone 11 with the exception of, was it 13? Where it, Why like, do you worse? know this? How do you know this <sighs> so immediately? But here's the thing. I it remember, really I remember feel, <laughs> It doesn't really feel better. Like, yeah, they tell me it's another hour. And I, okay, we should talk about, God, this is a big, there's so many things to talk about on this show. I feel like- We're already an hour in. No, where are we really? Was I ranting minute. for that long? I'm sorry. I got really that, excited. That, no, it's that's fine. how podcasts it's work. It's fine. Okay, Make okay. this four hours Apologize and people lose okay. their goddamn minds. It's the best lights. thing ever. I want to I want to show this because this is actually a big deal and it is a follow-up to something that I want to give Apple props for. Did okay. you guys see- oh, shit. That the iPhone 15 has double the amount of charge cycles it can take before it needs replacement. Oh, yes, this is crazy. Give them kudos for Apple that. Give overnight. them kudos for that. Now, why that's they, crazy? Yes, this is incredible. Yeah, Maybe because everyone I, Sam uh, complained about the bad battery of the iPhone 14. Yeah, the 14 Pro degraded really, really quickly for, uh, I mean, you don't really know why, but everybody was noticing it. And not, not every, again, when I'm saying everybody, I, I, feel, I feel like more than not, like a lot of folks were like, yes, my 14 Pro is degraded really, really quick, which sucks because a lot of people don't want to buy a new phone every year. If your yeah. battery dies, you're going to have to either upgrade or get a new battery quicker. So Apple basically said, okay, cool. They did something year over year, implemented some technology where they said, instead of, your phone being able to be charged from 100 to zero and back up 500 times in ownership of a battery before it needs replacement, you can now do it a thousand times. Mm -hmm. So instead of your battery life getting really bad at about a year to a year and a half, it'll actually last about two to three years now, depending on your usage yeah. of, which is sick. Like that's, in, that's, that's insane. Great. And I, um, yeah, I, I almost made a long form about this. I, I made a TikTok. I, I think it's a huge deal. I think this is massive. And I don't know why Apple didn't talk about this until now. Like, this is something you messaged to Well, didn't they, the need way, to, they, they didn't, didn't they just discuss, they had to test. Didn't yes, they have to they test this to make sure it was true? What do you mean? How do you not test your product before you release a billion of them? How do you mean it, you just- There hasn't, when was there enough time? Like now there's a bunch of phones out there that can be tested and they have data that they're collecting from people bringing in their phones. And like now it's on a wide enough scale to where they could actually collect this data, I feel like. You imagine if they that. said that, imagine if they said this around launch and then this number was off by even 20%. Mm. Then that's a scandal. Yeah, but I feel like you if you made the batteries different, you would know? Like, it almost sounds like they're like, oh, we did this on accident. So, yeah, it's uh, but twice Yeah, but good. you can't come up with the average from just, like, four people in Apple Park. Apple, Apple also doesn't make their batteries. They don't make them. So they source them. Dude, that's a they they have you their into. Also, why is, Andrew, why are you, why are you at two pixels what? currently, do you think? Bro's got right. ten thousand megabits per second internet and can't. You do look, a you look like you're like you you're streaming like this from a microwave. Should I refresh this? That's Can I true. refresh? Will that mess things up? Yeah, just don't stop recording your audio. Okay, refreshing. Andrew Edwards, everybody. Be funny if I just didn't let him back in and didn't explain anything to him. <laughs> <laughs> hey Sam, guess what? What's up, man? I bet you are way far into the new year, and I bet the new year excitement has worn off already. You know, the excitement of some things have definitely already worn off. Yeah, but you know what hasn't worn off? My excitement what? for today's sponsor, Stamps.com. Yes. And my excitement has never worn <laughs> off because it streamlines all of your mailing and shipping to turbocharge your operational efficiencies. Stamps.com, the app, is like a post office in your pocket, right in your pocket, so you can stay on right top there. of things. Even when you're on the go, no matter where you are, no matter what you are, you got stamps.com. It's beautiful. It's the post office elevated. Yeah, it is. It's like I'm going up in the sky of virtual reality because when posted rates just increase, stamps.com has the best discounts in the industry. We got to give another round of applause. Posted rates works, increased again. I will not have it. I won't because John with stamps.com, it'll be rates that you won't find anywhere else like up to 80 Nine percent off USPS. And Are UPS. you telling Plus, me rates have gone up, but Stamps.com brought them back down? Not even back down, but we're talking eighty. Do you know how much eighty-nine percent off of something is? That's, that's almost only, free. 
you're paying 11% of what you normally would or, or up to, I guess that, because here's how it works. It's a one-stop shop. They've been indispensable for over a million businesses. They're mailing checks, invoices, legal documents, books, vision pros back to Apple, whatever you're sending, maybe um, it could, it could be that. And guys, listen, keep your mailing and shipping moving at the speed of your business with stamps.com sign up with promo code genius for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and john what's that extra bonus they get for our code and our show do they get a, a whole free digital scale is that yes, correct they do. it's a free That's digital insane. scale with no long-term commitments or contracts just go to stamps.com click the microphone at the top of the page and enter code genius and you don't gotta take our word for it man they've been doing this for 25 years longer than That's Sam's as much been as me. sam and, well actually exactly the same and but. and <laughs> So many businesses. Stamps.com slash what, Genius. Sam? Thank you. Thank you, Stamps.com. So, yeah, battery. That I thought that was cool. Regardless of how they found that out, I do think it's cool that Apple made it better. That and is cool. Props to Very them for cool. doing that because that- We love to I mean, see that. I'm still at 100% battery health. And Ooh, wonder I will say my battery life feels worse. I so I used to charge my phone MagSafe all the time, but since they went to USB C, I've been defaulting to charging USB C, and that is probably a mistake. What's your battery? Battery health, battery health and charging. Hundred <gasps> percent. Wow. Yes. Good job, Apple. I have a question. This might be anecdotal. Does anybody's battery life feel worse? Like I feel like I've been able to get through days less than it. It feels launch. the exact same to me, which is okay. It's uh, probably just not me. great. Probably. Yeah, iPhone 14 yeah, for me was been, not great. Ninety five percent. This is like ninety five percent maximum capacity on your 15 Pro Max. What have you? And you've yes, been using. Sir. You haven't even been using your phone for the last month. You've been in Vision Pro. So how did that happen? Whoa. Ninety five percent, and my cycle count is two hundred forty. Are you plugging your phone I'm into sorry, a car battery? I'm sorry, what? My cycle count is 240, How, wait, wait, wait. it says. How do you have 240 cycles on your phone, dude? Where does it say to cycle? It's in about, general about. Dude, I'm at 165. You're almost 100 what? cycles. How have you, bro, what do you be Why? doing on that phone? Oh, I mean, I use it all day. Wait, what, 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 is, your, what is yours, Andrew? 95% maximum capacity, 240 cycle count. Uh, I almost I almost had you. I have 100% capacity, 229 cycle count. Ooh. I'm charging in the middle of the day. So, Sam, I'm charging basically twice as much, it seems. I keep my phone wait, on wait, a mag wait, what, safe. You're I, charging yeah, in the middle I, of the day? What? Charger, I have never I seen my phone at like 10%. I am too scared. I will have it yeah. charged. And it's like, here's the thing. I know I'm not leaving the house. I know it. But once I get to 50%, I start to freak a little bit. And that bitch what? is getting plugged in. And it's going right back up to 100%. In case the power goes out or there's some sort of emergency. I don't know. Really? But 50% is basically zero in this house. I don't think I've ever put my phone on a charger before 20% in my life. That, yeah. No, that's terrifying. I don't, I couldn't do that. I'm too scared of what might happen. What Dude, happens if I'm are... like, what happens if I see my phone at 20% and I'm like, oh, that's probably fine. And then like World War III begins. <laughs> the Chinese watch? take out the power grid. My the phone Chinese was at 19%, iPad. even though I definitely could have charged it an hour ago Did and it would have been at 100. <laughs> <sighs> You know what's scarier than all this is Andrew Edwards' camel quality right now. Why? I don't know how. I don't know, Andrew. Now it cleared Can up. Can you at least again. hear me fine? Literally. Li oh, yeah. We yeah, hear you, you sound, perfect. Yeah, you sound beautiful. And we're recording your audio, so, you know. Okay. John, you made a comment about the iPad Air I want to dive into because we're still not done with it. Guys, we might be an hour into this. Oh, I'm, I'm, it must we're have not been a spicy too. comment for you to bring it back up. Hit me. It was. I said 12.9 inch iPad Air. Andrew was like, do you think that takes away your ads? It seems like you made a comment like 12.9 inch iPad Air is bad. Mm. Huh? Seems like you made it sound like a 12.9 inch iPad Air would be a mistake. It's a bad Did thing I? that Apple's doing. That's what it sounded like. Maybe you disagree. Maybe I misheard you. That's oh, also I was I, No, I was saying like it, that's not going to help iPad Pro sales. Like that's – if anything, that's worse. Hmm. Like so I do don't, think I don't, I'm not of the mind that big iPads are are great. Uh, their iPad Pro is already getting way too big, but mm. I see why people would want big iPad, and there's people that want just big iPad, and now they're going to get that with just the iPad Air, and they're not even going to need to buy the iPad Pro. Right. 
That's spooky. But is That's that better spooky. for the iPad <laughs> as a whole? <laughs> spooky. It's better like for people in terms of are options. There people, like now, the people that want bigger iPad won't have to spend the extra right to get the bigger iPad. So it's good for people, good for Apple, and specifically good for iPad Pro. Probably not. Oh, I my figured question, it out. It, that has to be good for iPad Pro, but my question is more, I, I wonder if there are people who are like, oh, I'd buy a big iPad. Oh, I can only get big if I spend, what is it? $2,100. $1, $1, whatever the hell it is. It's yeah. $1,100. Okay. You know what I love so about I can, this podcast with Andrew? Us. What? I have been reflecting on the past hour and three minutes and 40 seconds, and we really just did come in here hot, like in the middle of a conversation. Like you could tell we came from a group chat like the Andrew isn't just a random guest that we have had active conversations and we just started the show in the middle of an active conversation. Mm. And I think that's, re that's a really cool dynamic for the podcast. I agree. Give it up for John Prosser and Andrew. Give it up yeah. for Andrew Edwards. We're just inviting people into our group chat for a couple yeah, hours. Yeah. So any guests for Genius Bar, you have to come be part of the Inconvenience Bar, which Step is the name of the group chat. Um, I've had air aside from that. Yeah, it'll be I'm too chip. Uh... Here's how I think pricing is going to work. Hit me. I think iPad Air is going to be five ninety nine, eleven inch. Next, seven ninety nine, twelve point. What is it currently? Five ninety five ninety nine. Okay, I so think stay same price. Same price. Then I think the twelve point nine inch is going to be. I think it's going to be seven ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which would be that, three that or two hundred dollars cheaper than they've ever offered a twelve point nine inch, and I want to say. The actual same price as the first 12.9 inch iPad Air ever, or iPad Pro ever. Pro, okay. I believe when Apple and yeah, because the iPad Pro, oh my God, they've really gouged us on prices. The the uh, the 10 point whatever inch iPad Pro used to be 5.99. What? I'm pretty sure it did. iPad Pro 2016 no. price. That doesn't sound real, but it's probably real. Uh, I believe. Oh, Apple introduces, I'm going to tell you right now how much it was. Uh, I'm on the press release. It cost $5.99. The, the small iPad Pro used to cost $5.99. I knew I wasn't insane because I bought that. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then the 12.9-inch the, uh, the version was $7.99. Oh, wow. Apple's so smart for this. Wait. Oh, I get it now. Yep. Okay, so it's going to be $5.99. Exactly. See how they do this? They're they raising the, the prices thing. for the Bro, freaks. They did the same. They did the same thing with the iPhone. Yeah, I That's know. Just really smart. They, they gave us iPhone 10, 10, iPhone 10s, and then they were like iPhone 10R. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the 10R line became the default iPhone. Yeah. So they could yep. keep charging more for the Pro ones. Smart, smart, especially for a mature product. I actually think that's the right call, which is why I believe that the base iPad Pro will now start at nine ninety nine. I think that eleven inch with I'd OLED. I mean, I won't buy that, but I buy your theory. I mean, and I think the twelve point nine inch is going to be eleven or twelve ninety nine. And what if the battery? What if the battery is just as good as it was last time, or even worse? Are you still happy they went thinner, Mister? No. That's exciting. No, that's a mistake. They'll keep the battery the same. They always do. Every but single. But wouldn't you rather have the same size iPad and a better battery? Because if yeah, they have the yeah, same battery but thinner, they could have obviously made the same size iPad better battery. I will, but guess what, Prosser? They've had six years to make that battery bigger, and they've never freaking done it. So I want never something different. freaking done it. They've never freaking they frickers. The no, they have made the battery bigger. They just haven't increased the battery life. So in other words, because they keep putting ten hours M out of the current Pro, the battery had to be better with the M series chip. So they made a bigger battery, but they always just shoot for that ten hours. So it's do yeah. more with the same battery, hope and hope for yeah. the best. So why right. does the MacBook have double the battery life for more money? big, because there's two for less monies. Because there's two things: the display is its own little unit, which makes more room down below for bad. For bad. And it's thicker. <laughs> for bad. It actually uh, went thicker. <laughs> thicker on the MacBooks was a feature, and that gave them more room for battery. Worth. Great call. Make my iPhone 10 times. That's what I don't understand. Like, we, it feels like we're backtracking from just making everything thinner. The iPhone is thicker than it used to be. But we're man, past that I, age. The I'm Macs are now a little bit thicker, but now iPads are getting thinner, and that's revolutionary. I'm telling you, I was looking at some old Apple keynotes. I was watching some recently. 
man, when you see those thin products, there's something about it. it just feels like old Apple. They're already like, so I feel like Johnny's thin. back. I know, but I feel like Johnny's cradling me. I feel like he's saying, "Come here, baby. Come here, baby." <laughs> you Come think he's milky. got? You think he's got think, his little fingies in there? I think no that's way. what it is. No. He's done. Okay, and then last thing at the event, which I, John, are you seated for this one? Oh, I'm seated. I'm so seated. You're about to get a new MacBook Air, buddy. Yeah, that's right. M3 MacBook Airs are just around the corner at Apple's March event. That's what we love. Widely that's reported what we love. by only Mark Gurman and I think a couple others. But, oh, so it's probably um, fucking not true. I like that. Yeah. But I mean, it's not a really. <laughs> I mean, yeah, idea. it's just it's just gonna be a spec bump. There, yeah. there's nothing. I mean, I'm sure there'll be like some other. What is, is it? Bump. All sizes of MacBook Air. Yep, they're gonna yeah, sync it up again. Oh, sweet. 15 inch. Cool. Yeah. Cool. 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 And cool, I will cool, say, cool. I I touched a 15 inch MacBook Air for the first time the other day, and it is it's pretty impressively thin. But I'll I'll also Great. say this. They ruined the design of the MacBook Air with the redesign. Explain yourself. How? It, it's the same design language as the MacBook Pro, but thinner. And I just, it doesn't feel as special. Like that an iPad design, Pro and an iPad Air? Yeah, I think it's silly that they look the same. I don't like the design of the iPad Air. But again, because the iPad Air, Air used to But they're to doing the same thing with something. the phones. The phones Back look the same. Back in my day, Air used to mean something. And <sighs> I feel like- it means, uh, it means thinner and lighter, which it yeah. is. Yes? Yes. But I just think I think the like boxiness of the design works for the pro. But I I think that there would have been a more creative way to make the air. Like I I just I think the you air deserves to go back a to more taper? special design. That's what I'm trying to say. Go no, to just like design? when the initial MacBook Air got unveiled, it didn't look like any other laptop. It had that taper design. It was crazy. And I'm not saying Apple should just keep the taper, but I'm doing that with the I, taper. I think the taper was cool. Yeah, I like the taper. Maybe I just missed the taper. But the point being, I just. I like. I wish the air was like a little bit more. I, I feel like the air doesn't more feel special anymore. That's what I'm coming from. Air doesn't feel special to me because everything is thin and light, dog. That it, right back to what I was saying. We are past the age where thinner and lighter makes a usable difference. Yeah, it used to mean something. something. Now we are. Now I'm of the mind. We fucking nix every airline that exists. Not airline like planes that travel, but I mean every <laughs> Apple product that comes with the Air name. AirPods done, gone. Just just pods. <laughs> <laughs> the Apple yeah, it's, pods. Ew. Working through the air is Ew. default now. It's just a pod now. Apple um, pod. Apple hear things. Wait, okay, and then pod. the last thing I thought was going to be at the March event was like the iPad HomePod thing. But apparently Mark Gurman just clapped back at me today and was like, I, nope, not, I, not what do you mean? I put everything on that. You I said know, in your video with the render, you showed it to me and I was, now I committed. That's, we're definitely getting at the event. So who do I believe now? Sam Cole or Mark Gurman? I believe Mark Gurman over me. I, I would rather believe you. <laughs> home pod with screen, definitely coming at the yeah. event for sure. Well, here's the question. If there's no home pod with screen, Mr. Gurman. If that is your real name, uh, do we even need an event? You know, I've been going back and forth with that. What Andrew says, no, no event. I don't think uh, we the need only one. thing that, I love that events, would, but I don't think we need one. The only thing that I could see them doing the event for is just so they could go look how thin iPad is. I just, yeah, I feel like the iPad Pro, especially with the way sales are, I feel like they got to make a big thing about it. I feel like they got to have I Justine. And all the TikTokers. They can do that without that an, event. Require an event. Yeah, but there's something about Apple event. Like people know what mm. Apple event means. It, like the uh, October 30th event, we, nobody was really talk talking about this. They just launched Vision Pro with no events and had everybody coming out. Not me. Not me. Yeah. <laughs> but that was a good Yeah. Apple. Can we do an hour long event with just I iPad? Because what are I you supposed to talk about with um, MacBook How about one Air? of those 30 minute uh, scary fast events? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess so. We could have a 30 yeah, minute event. Yeah. I think it would be something like I think that, that is potential. I just, I think that I, they have to explain this new iPad Pro. And my gut, like if I had. A hundred grand on red and roulette, if that's even how they get. I don't know if there's colors in the game. I think there is. There's, there's um, I, I would put it on not just a press release. Hmm. 
There's just no way. I guess when I say event, I'm more asking: Is it an event where we've traveled to Apple, or is it an event like the Scary Fast where they did have a watch party, but it was like it was really mostly just an online video? I would hope only online video. I hope they're not flying anybody Uh, out. That's what I'm thinking. Siri, is there going to be an Apple event in March? (laughs) Worth a shot. Ever since that one time. There's nothing called Apple event scheduled between Friday to March 31st, 2024. Hmm. Thanks, Siri. Ask her when is the next Apple event. When is the next Apple event? You can get all the details about Apple events at Apple.com. Remember when the spring, the April event got leaked through Siri, though? Yep. Yeah. Well, that, that was, was a, that was after I fucking shaved my eyebrows off, announced that there's going to be an April event. No one bought that because I just shaved my fucking face off, and then they then it got leaked. Who leaked yeah. that again? Siri. Do you still have both testicles? Because I have USB C on my iPhone. If I say if I say no. Will you ask me to prove it? <laughs> yeah. I need an x-ray. Sam will. Yeah. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll I do, do I do have both testicles. Yes. Mm. But I can I tell you why? Because under under nowhere when I said I will get rid of a testicle to have USB C was did I also say I will get rid of my testicle if the EU forces them to put USB C in the phone. That did not happen. I just said Excuse me? That did not happen. My cat's trying to get in the door and I yeah, locked jo- it. Yeah, I, I forgot. John does still think that USB, and everybody thinks this because that's, that is what it looked like. But yeah, USB do, was, and it, like, that's not true. Yeah, mm. USB C was a plan change that they had for years. I'm, don't believe I'm, it. I'm going to clarify. I'm going to clarify real quick. Don't believe when it. Does the rule, when does the ruling for USB C go into effect? 2025? No, this year? I think it goes into effect December 2024, which means. Yep. Apple can release iPhone 16 with Lightning if they want to. Right? Nah. Because I come nah. in September. <laughs> so nah. iPhone 17 I don't believe would be the this. first this iPhone. This doesn't help. You're, you are. I'm just telling you. Are you, are you on my podcast with my friend advocating my that I podcast. actually no, removed my testicle? Podcast. This is my podcast as much as you I said podcast. my podcast with my friend. Is it what not I'm my saying, podcast? Is it not your podcast? podcast? I'm just saying, I'm between saying the three of us, is, it is not Andrew's podcast. True, and I he's over here. You, you're supposed to care about my well-being, and you're on. The, you're on. You're in front of I don't know a million people Twelve right people. now that watch this Twelve. show. A million. What Twelve you, million what people have, advocating that I remove a testicle. What if you have? Can you let both testicles? And someone makes a video called "Can You Trust John Prosser?" How would you feel about that? That's fine. It's been done before. Make it. And you know what you should say in that video? I only have one testicle and you can't prove it. <laughs> um, okay, I have a quick update, a drama update before we go on to the main juice of the show. Drama before update. you go to the drama update, before the drama update, I just want to do a, a quick EU update. Can I do a quick okay. EU update? <laughs> sure. We got to okay. go. Quick really EU running update. out of time. Here is an ad. All right. <laughs> okay, are we back? I'm going to come back after I hope you say you guys whatever you're about to say. Love that product. Um, okay. Endorsed by Andrew Edwards. Lately. I've been huh? annoyed in the tech technosphere lately about the love mm. for the EU. Okay. Oh, I People fucking hate the it. EU. No, no, I hope I hope everyone in the EU slips. I hope they they slip on something really slippery. I don't want them to get hurt. I just want them to be embarrassed. I hope they slip Listen. on something really embarrassing. What would be this, yeah. the most embarrassing thing to slip on? A banana Semen? peel. Yeah, oh, well, that's yeah. what I was thinking too. A banana peel. That was first a in my head. Covered banana peel. Um, the uh, only on Jimmy's part. All, can you make Andrew say those words together? Okay, go <laughs> correct. Ahead. First of all, like I said a minute ago, the iPhone 17 is the <laughs> <laughs> Sam. The iPhone 17 is the first iPhone that legally needs to have USB C in order to comply. He's doing with the this EU. thing. You know what I? You know what I fucking hate when you do this thing. With your hand, you are about to you're about to like school us, and I don't appreciate that I can tell when it's coming. So like, if you <laughs> just did, like it. doing this means you you're confident in what you're about to say, and I kind of hate that a you're lot. Right. And I hope you okay, slip on the okay. banana peel too. I, I am confident. Um, Apple planned USB C for iPhone Sorry, 15 several phone. years ago. Sure. Okay, but even if you don't believe that, even if you don't believe that, the ruling mm-hmm. that anyone can look at says. 
products released starting December 2024, which means iPhone 15 and 16 could have been lightning and they're not. Yeah, iPhone but, what, but what, if lightning. you're Apple, don't you want to get in front of it and make it look like you did it? But they, that's not what happened. No one thinks that. That's How not do you, what happened. What do you mean? Maybe not us. People, Maybe we. Because we Apple know. Was forced. Because we know. The EU, That's good content right there. Now, here's the other one. Here's the other one. Everybody. Thanks Sorry, to I the can't EU, hear. we're getting RCS. We're getting huh? RCS. Thank you, EU. No. No, that was actually China. 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 It China. was China. China. Oh, don't nobody China. clip that. Nobody clip that. Please, God. <laughs> <laughs> China, it was the reason because China said, hey, if you want to ship phones here, they need to have RCS and Apple. When China says something, Apple's like, all right, what do we need to do, sir? Yeah. Whoever the prime minister, what's the prime minister? I don't know. Winnie the Pooh. J him. Xi Jinping. EU is oh, not the, this big Jinping. tech savior that everyone's making it out to be. Yeah, I, I just don't like the EU and I think they suck. I think they suck a lot. I don't think they suck. I mean, nah. It's stupid that they can say this port is be on a talk. product because when you, let's just you when USB D comes out and it's eight times faster, how long is it going to take before the yeah, EU what? says okay, that's fine? Hey, did anybody read the law or did you just read the headlines? Because the law says as soon as there's a better, wider accepted technology, that's what the law is going to switch to automatically. Hey, everybody, no, they said I didn't know Sam could though. read. Wider accepted, though. How does it become wider accepted if we're not allowed you to make it Apple widely product. accepted? Okay, I don't think it says wider accepted. I don't know the exact phrase, but it's like whatever the next thing it's is. Whatever it's whatever the EU deems is the next thing. That's the fucked up thing. No, that, no, see, no, that's no, it. No. That's, yeah, that's I've bullshit. spoken to people that live in the EU, and we have a very American oh, you spoke. Thing, you spoke to people that live I've there? Sp I've spoken to the EU. I'll say it. Who I'll you speak it. to? I've spoken to some folks in the EU. <laughs> They're very okay. nice. And uh, yeah, basically the law is not that big of a deal, and everybody needs. Why to can't we? Get, why can't we have cool things? Hmm? Yeah. Why? Do, why? Why does someone else's parliament get to choose for us stupid yeah. fucking things? Why can't the EU go? Hey, America, need healthcare universally. Why don't they do something cool? <laughs> like, why is it right. fucking USB C? Yeah, Somebody explain to <laughs> well, me why we choose stupid shit well, to force it on everybody. Then the companies that sell iPhones here need to make sure that their countries provide universal health care to their citizens. That would have been a great rule. Yeah, but they didn't. Definitely would have. Listen, it's Apple like should fucking open on one. the iPhone. Apple, you should open it up, and Apple should have a big phrase that says "Hello" in cursive, and then goes "All also fuck universal health care, fuck it all to hell." And then the EU will be like, "What? You're not allowed to say that." What if it was universal to everyone? Definitely original EU idea to place on the whole world. We should do that. Apple, it starts with you. Your move. All right. Second Tell us about Apple updates. bits. Tell us about Apple bits. Second and creator. You got updates. any Apple bites for us? Apple bites, Apple bits. No, no, I don't. It's not Apple. Oh, oh, I, no, I see what you did there. It's this podcast. <laughs> that was, took me a second there. Uh, everybody, attention to all the kind of people attention. of America and elsewhere. Everybody. We require your attention. Da, 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 da. High school announcement. Sam is over the loudspeaker. Go ahead. Um, I have talked. You can wait. Share on my share screen. I have talked oh, to fuck. Brian. That, there we go. I have talked to Lord Brian Tong, and everything is cool. <laughs> and now. and you know how is he's not lying? Brian Tong replied, "It's not verified account, so it might be a, a lie." But he gave the prayer <laughs> emoji and the thumbs up. But I've also heard that the prayer emoji is a high five, and I'm conflicted. Yeah, it's, it's, it was actually a high five. Yeah. Anyway, it was good. We talked. Uh, yeah, we uh, we were good. And I I don't want to say anything else, but yeah, we figured it out. It's all good. The beef has been squashed. So for but you know who the beef hasn't been squashed with? We did. We did Me. have a conversation. We talked, and I think the conversation went well. He talked to you, but he didn't talk to me, and I have a lot of beef with the man. Oh, no. I, I'm trying to get out of the beef, man. I'm just trying to drop I think Apple everyone, drugs. every genius watching and listening, should fucking strap up, open your Twitter account, tag Brian Tong, and get ready to give the, the following message. <laughs> Brian Tong! Exclamation mark, please. And an emoji. You can throw in, you, be creative, an emoji. Favorite emoji, yeah. You are a handsome man. And you hit send. 
And you hit send with the aggression of a thousand sons. There. I hope that starts wow. some crazy beef. <laughs> Brian Tong, I expect a response in the next 24 hours or else there's more. Should they attach an image of Brian in the tweet? No. To prove how handsome he is. No. Okay. No. Uh-uh. Okay. Text travels faster. Good clarification. You would know since your internet is like on X. Two, the every, yeah. yeah. Okay, everybody. Okay. Let's talk yeah, about what we all came here to talk about. Do, 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 do. My light seal already fell off because the magnets suck, which is one of the Dude, problems with this device. Of course, I didn't. I don't have mine in this room because I was like, Why I definitely this? won't. Hang on, I'll go Please. get it. Hang on, you guys, Apple, you guys just chat, oh and I can't hear anything. Vision you're saying. Pro. Okay. We've been talking about now. this for a number of weeks now, we sure and have. it's still really heavy. That's my review. <laughs> That's honestly very comfortable review. for me, Sam. Very. I, you know how many hours I wore this thing yesterday? I believe it was t- over scared. ten hours. I was in here, and your eyes and head were fine. Everything was fine. Everything was fine. See, I really that feel li- like you have to dial in the fit. I'm what convinced you have headband? the wrong fit. What size headband and light seal are you on? I am on a medium uh, headband. I am on the okay. thinner. It tells me I should be using the thicker um, light cushion, but I don't want the fit the thicker one because I want more field of view. And then I'm on okay. a 21W Your boy's back. sized uh, shield. 21W. Let me see. Here we are. She's here with the appropriate strap, hey, so, by the way. Solo knit crew. Solo knit crew. That's insane. Yeah, it's the so comfiest I, one. I don't think that I'm sized right because I have a 25W, but apparently they're not in sequential order. Also, I misspoke last week when I said there's over 100 light seals. Apparently, there's only like 17, but I yeah, think Yeah, the discrepancy is there is pretty large. But like, how do I get a different one? Because when, when I went back, they didn't seem willing to like measure me. What do you mean? They sure will. Go to the what store. What do you mean huh? they didn't? Did you I was at the ask store. A human? They were just like, here. Bring your, your whole vision said. pro with you. Bring the whole vision yeah. pro, not just the light seal. Bring the whole thing with you. I was say, with it. I was picking up a second one and they were still like, yeah, this is your size. No, tell them you need to try them because just tell them you're in pain. Oh, okay. That's literally I'm going to say, literally part my lawyer is going to come get you if. <laughs> I'm in yeah, pain. I'm going to text you guys an Amazon link because Ooh. someone found a Velcro strap that you would typically use for like a CPAP machine that fits the Vision Pro perfectly. So you use the solo strap, but you just put this other one on the sides and it gives you the, the over the head version. Very soft and comfy and it's like $10. <laughs> What is for so a you CPAP have machine? aftermarket CPAP parts on your Vision Pro, Andrew? I do not, but what I it literally just looks like another strap. It looks like the head strap. So you get the I'm comfort searching. of the solo knit, and you just get the hmm. a, a little extra support if you need it for ten dollars. I have the solo on. knit one and the big poofy thing. Like oh, you got the thing. big poofy one on there. That, that, you got the, that, big, the big that poofy brings your field of view down a little bit. Yeah, but it's already ass, so. <laughs> right, but you bad. use the thinner one, you get a little bit more field of view. Yeah, but I'd rather not hurt my head, face, place. Okay, fair enough. We Area. don't want that. We don't want that. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, Sam, why do you look so concerned? Yeah, Sam looks Just disgusted. like, what is going on? With I'm what? The, <laughs> dude, look at what I'm looking. Like, this is, you know Apple's made a we should go into. Fit. We should go Sorry. into Vision Pro for this part portion. Are you, you want me to go screen? in Vision Pro? I mean, yeah. that would require us to mic up and like do a whole thing, and that's probably yeah, a that's nightmare, but you know. Bad idea. Dude. Oh my God. Isn't that like Brandon Butch? Like, who is this guy? The heck? I, I love Brandon, I by the way. That's what not the like. What the fuck am I looking at? But like, this is the state we that are. That is with a Apple 3D Vision printed Pro. piece that allows you to add a second solo knit over not the top. Not gonna lie, of your head. a second solo knit sounds like sounds the coffee really thing. Comfy. It is, but that would be $100. What would you pay for Dude. comfort is the question. Well, that's why I said I want to try this $10 CPAP thing. It literally just looks like the top band. Andrew, I know same, that you got more result. than $10. Right, but I don't want to spend 100 Look, when I, when I heard that the price of the solo knit was $100, what the hell? You that's bought one. Get insane. out of here. I mean, that's how much Apple's trail loop costs for the Apple Watch. 
What like, the this fuck? Is, this is what are we, we are. looking Were at? You're having to look up CPAP shin straps to make this even comfortable. Why'd you put chin straps? I don't know, but what I don't did you look what, what, did you, what, what did you search for, Sam? I don't <laughs> know. I just searched Vision Sam, Pro scroll CPAP. up. I want to see what your search query is. No. It's Vision Pro Head CPAP. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. No, right there. That second one. That one. This? That piece. That $10 thing right there. That you just Velcro on Dreamwear headgear headgear strap. Oh, Bro. I can see how that tracks. But you put it over the nah. over the top of your head. You're looking is at the, the whole CPAP this, machine. You're saying, "Nah, we're not talking about that." Is this man smiling about his current state? <laughs> 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 wow, I believe that so much. He's having a good time, dude. Dude, that just goes over the top <sighs> of your head. Imagine. <laughs> looks so stupid. I was Wait, to hang so on. Cool. What the fuck are we doing? Are you telling me there's no third parties that have just made a better strap? Not yet. It's completely wide open. But they, they are coming. They are coming for sure. Why don't yeah, we? Why don't the up. three of us team up to make the first one right now? You can Out actually buy. Items. I've never used it, but the Bobo VR is a third party <laughs> strap for the. Yeah, I know. Quest I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a Bobo VR kind of guy. And now, Dude. they have made an attachment, a third party attachment you can buy that will allow you to attach that to your Vision Pro. That doesn't wait. What? Compute in my hold head. on, Bobo VR. Yeah, there's a there's a uh, 3D printed part you can get for the Vision Pro. Dude, Look Bobo at this. VR is so you to good. Attach the Bobo VR. This looks so they're so stupid. good. No, they're not. Sam, listen, I need Dude. you to trust me. Nope, 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 nope. Does that nope, thing nope, have nope. a fan on it? It has whatever the it fuck does, it wants, bro. Why does it have a fan? Why not? <laughs> on a, on your head stress? <laughs> Yeah, why not? I don't like this at all. I just want it to be comfortable. Has anyone scratched their the front thing yet? Because I haven't, I have but I'm waiting for it. I have not. I'm very scared that's going to happen. I watched a durability night, video though. and it scratches yeah, very easily. Do you put it in the sock at night or no? Oh, dude, the sock is literally right here. If it's off of my face, it's in the sock. Okay. Yeah, you got to okay. put it in the sock. I, I am not but I'm afraid that I'm going to get a little that. something in the sock and then put the sock on the thing and then Ooh, sand. Yeah, sand. It's so From, heavy. You know, you know how I love going to beaches. <laughs> I Sam. just am... Yeah. All right, let, let's get into the topic. Let's get into the topic. Apple Vision Pro, where are we at? I'm in a I'm a good I'm in a good spot. I love I just thing. said I'm in there 10, 10 hours a day. Easily, I am not no in there problems. ten hours a day, maybe three, maybe. Still, I'm working in there. I'm watching entertainment. That's... I I rarely turn on my the brand new eighty three inch OLED. I rarely turn it on. What's the but point? The eighty three inch OLED probably doesn't have pancake glare. Yeah, but I don't have pancake glare in Vision Pro either because I'll, I'll I just won't go into a dark environment when I want to watch TV. That's the best place to watch things. Try, no, try yeah. this. No, try this. White Sands nighttime. That's oh, where you it's watch like a your sunset. content. Because yeah, it's like it's like sunset, and it's so it's still dim and dark, yeah, but you don't get that I can, glare. I, I feel that. And and Sam Cole, where do you feel about what do you feel about Vision Pro currently? Through a four almost four weeks in. Mm -mm. He don't like it, man. He says, mm -mm. He "When's the last like time you had it on?" It's uh, it's really been making me mad again and sad. Sad. Mad. I'm sad. Okay, for context, Sam and I had a very lovely evening, like a five-hour extravaganza <laughs> in the quest. And after that, he sent me a voice memo that said, wow, I just put on the Vision Pro and it's awesome or something like that. And I said, so are you back on the train? And he said, the train has left the station. And now you're back hating it? You're a big hater? No, 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 no I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. Okay. You said you're mad. <sighs> Your face says otherwise. I'm mad. I am mad. Because every experience I try to have is not what it should be with this product for what I paid. What should it be? Watching content I mean. seems like it would be so cool. I was like, this is going to be the killer use case. And for most people, it probably is. But you realize there's a lot of flaws with that. Like if you watch anything in the Apple TV app, there's no way to turn off HDR or to change the quality. Why would you want to turn And Because it's too bright. I've said this before. I'll say it again. HDR is bad. We need to ax it. No more HDR. Done. That's inaccurate. I hate HDR. I have blue eyes. Okay. I know you guys have What's probably have brown brown eyes. Or I have. Blue eyes. I lit. What are you talking about? Have you never what seen me? What color eyes you got, Andrew? Mine are brown. 
Yeah. And well, John, you thought, you're, wait, you're more like the soul of a demon. You're just now, them, so. you are just now figuring out what color my eyes are, Sam. I've never looked you in the face before. I try to just. The color of your eyes does not affect how yeah, much wait, light hang goes on. through your Besides pupil. Besides arguing about what it my eyes color are, light, why does that matter? It does affect how light is perceived. That is just facts. Blue is less. That's a thing. Uh, okay. Blue is less what? So, you got to finish the sentence. Yeah. Blue is yes. That's a thing. No, blue I is said less. Blue you just eyes said. affect how you see light. I'm more sensitive what a, to light than people But tell me eyes. how they affect. What are you just saying? Blue is less is what you said. Blue I'm is less. What? Yes. I, dude, what do you? This is like a known thing. Everybody acts like I'm, I'm trying crazy. to know it. You apparently know it. This is how human interaction works. You know something I dude, don't. I'm asking you to tell me there's what less that pigment. means. Therefore, okay, the eyes okay. are more sensitive to sunlight Sam's and correct. bright artificial lighting. That's what I wanted people to know. Blue, Everybody freaking asks. People like with blue or light eyes tend to be more sensitive to light because blue eyes, especially light blue, have less pigment in the iris, making them more translucent. Okay, yeah, look so, at me. Do I look okay. like I have any pigment anywhere? No, not a, not even exactly. A little bit. Not even a little not. bit. I saw you so, dubbed up in the sun. When HDR content blasts me, it's super bright. Then I'm like, I watch a movie in a dark environment. This is gonna be really, really, really fun. And then I notice the constant glare from the lenses. Which is like, if it's going to be the killer use case, you can't have me noticing this glare from the lenses. That's crazy. But Sam, this is what it, Vision Pro is the victim of the same physics as every headset that has ever been made. Like this right. isn't exclusive to Vision but Pro. it's Apple. What You can't We're not just say it's Apple, things. so it's got to be mad. I'm, holy fuck, dude. I'm not making an excuse for Apple. What are you talking about? You literally, you're you, like, that's you, just how you, old they are. Apple's you sound job like an insane out. person. It's Apple, so they should be able to get around the laws of physics. Are you high? You really, you do realize there's different lenses that they could have used, right? That weren't pancake. There's so either we get light rays, God rays, in the other right. in the other lenses, or we do pancake lenses and get pancake no, John, glare. What you got? Pick one. It was one. Apple's job to fix all of this. I can't. I cannot believe, Mister. We got to hold Apple accountable. Is like all these issues are fine. They couldn't help it. He you sound, but you realize you sound insane by saying Apple yeah. should have invented something that no one has ever invented before, and you only think that because they're Apple. How does how does that compute, Sam? I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying this is not exclusive to Apple. These are the same laws of physics that the rest of the world follows. How would you like them? Like, do you want them to hi hire fucking... <laughs> what? <laughs> Great. Look what you did. Has that ever <laughs> happened before on Genius Bar? For all your listeners, he Sam just fucking gone. Audi 5000. He hung up. <laughs> I think he hung up. I can't tell. It's because you caught him. I can't tell if he... What happened here? Anyway, Andrew, uh, I, yeah. if, you know what? If he even tries to come back in, I'm not going to let him. Fair enough. I'm not going to let him. He he gave up his seat, and now he never gets it back. Anyway, so uh, I think I got him. Yeah, I think you did. Um, The thing with HDR, though is that it is supposed to... It's, like, not supposed to be any brighter than what you would see in real life. It's supposed to be more realistic, not less. Yeah, yeah. So if you're witnessing the same scene in real life, you would be seeing the same amount of light, if not more. So it's it's odd to say HDR is too bright because that would mean when you take your Vision Pro off, everything's too bright. <laughs> yeah, actually, yes. That is correct. But, like, also... uh. Oh. Oh. Hello. You okay, pal? Yeah, I think there was a solar flare in LA. I'm back. <laughs> oh, you're in it? Dude, it looked like you just hung up, and it was the greatest yeah. thing. Yeah. Right. Okay, that's good. I'm like, right when he was funny. in the middle of admonishing you, you just dropped. So that wasn't on purpose? No, I was just you, my internet. You didn't do that because you got got? No. Anyway, then proceed to tell us how Apple needs to defy the laws of physics because they're Apple. And uh, that is some, you just said some cult shit. No, no, I'm actually challenging the yeah. company that's selling a $3,500 product to be better. You're challenging Dude, the company John, to John, what? John, Break on, the here, laws of physics? Dude. 
That is what you're you saying. So no, that is not what I'm saying. I'm saying, dude, Apple is selling one of the most expensive headsets ever. And yes, I expect yes. some core experiences they marketed to be near perfect for that price. I'm not talking about get the weight down first gen. I'm talking about like the fact that they weren't able to in any way figure out glare. Okay, hang on, time out. I'm making excuses for Apple by saying they they should they shouldn't be required to break the laws of physics. No, but no, no, you no, are no, you no, are no, saying you're, you're the weight is fine for first way. gen. Weight they no. had they couldn't do anything about weight. They did their best. But the laws of physics should have solved it. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying you're not being consistent. Do tell. Like, you'll go out there and you'll be like, everybody, we got to stop apologizing for Apple. We got to stop doing that. I do agree. I do think that. But, but not also for the like, laws of physics. You know what yeah, I, you know what I will complain about? You know what I will, don't do that. You know what I will complain about? Hand tracking yeah. isn't great. You know who could fix that? Apple. Not scientists. You don't Hand think maybe there's a better. limitation for a camera? You know, maybe the cameras can always see certain angles. Did they they, they could have put better cameras in there. just a camera. <laughs> no, John, here's the thing. I paid 35. No, now you got me wild up, okay, bud? I paid $3,500 for this headset. I worked day and night on YouTube. I made so many TikTok to get this headset. And the fact that I can't and even you still enjoy broke a movie. It. The, the fact that I even can't enjoy a movie without glare is like, what is this You thing? just said it! You don't watch movies. What do you mean enjoy movies? You said no, you hadn't watched I've a movie tried. in three fucking I've gone years. In there. No, I did. I've got into the new Call Apple TV show Hijacked featuring Idris Elba, which is fantastic. Is it and great? I tried to watch. Yeah, but I, I like it on my OLED TV better than my Apple Vision Pro. And my OLED Whoa, TV costs half of it. Don't you dare it. say that. Don't you dare say that. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't you dare because say Because here's the thing about headsets. They're headsets. You know what our heads yeah. are? Meant to move. <laughs> Well, Apple Vision Pro is the only thing that can blow the content up big enough to where you can move your head to look around. And you know what? Right. It's almost sick until you're like, wait, my eyes are blasted with light and there's reflections what everywhere. What do you do when you open the your eyes first thing in the morning? To watch what do you do on the side? What do you mean your eyes are blasted what with do you light? Take it That's off how those eyes work. <laughs> I just if wanted you, to be, see, I, dude. You missed it, Sam. We said... HDR is supposed to mimic real life, which means if you are witnessing the same thing in real life, it's going to be as bright or brighter than your HDR display, which means when you take off Vision Pro, you just can't take it. You just can't take the real world because it's that brighter. That explains so real world much. Is brighter than I Vision Pro. Poor boy is being yeah. absolutely molested by light all day. I have yeah. no, now, I, now, now I know why he's so bitter about everything. <laughs> His poor little eyes must be in such pain. His <laughs> poor little translucent light blue it's eyes. Very bright. <laughs> I want to stop this conversation, John, because I have something very important to tell you and the people. What is it? I've been Consider using Notion. Conversation Who's... stopped. Yeah, they've they've sponsored this episode. It's Notion. You know who this love is? Love Notion. Okay, I'm being facetious. We've talked about them before. Here's what they are. They are indispensable for my business. They're notes, docs, project management, all in one app that I can access it's on the web, in my Vision Pro, in my MacBook. Stop it right iPhone. there. I'm sold. There's no way that mm -hmm. this that this platform could possibly do more than that. Yep. The app had app working on Vision Pro. Very, very cool. I've actually used it to plan for some videos in there. Oh, wow. Here's what it does. It combines everything you want into a beautifully designed space. And I could sit here and tell you, like, I can read all the points. I just want to tell you, like... <sighs> I don't know how I was organized before this. And like legitimately, it has like been like, okay, this video is this state. This is this sponsor. This is how this is working. Here's what's done. Here's what I need to do. Like you've so done the same thing for FPT. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. You use it with Brian all the time to like write scripts and stuff, right? And what I've noticed is a lot of brands that we work with definitely watching Genius Bar because they're sending briefings in Notion. I don't want to take all the credit, but I'm just saying we talk about Notion here a lot on Genius Bar. And it's not just notes and docs and projects all in one space. They've also started to leverage the power of AI seamlessly right into Notion across all of your notes and docs without jumping between your work or a separate AI powered tool. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, and you can ask it questions about like your stuff, and it'll be like, uh, we know it's it's very impressive. It's very actually cool aware. Guys. It can help you work faster, write better, think bigger, do tasks that normally take you hours. You can do them in just seconds, save time, write faster. Listen, there's a special offer right now. Don't say I never gave you nothing. You can try Notion for free. 
when you go to Notion.com slash genius. That's all lowercase letters, Notion.com slash genius to try the powerful, easy to use Notion AI today. And when you use our link, you're supporting our show because we're your favorite people, obviously. So what other link would you use? Not Andrew Edwards' link, our link, Notion.com slash genius. I, okay. Sam, Sam. Why, okay, let me, like for me, right? I agree that if you're in, watching a movie or video in a dark environment, you're going to get this glare. But then I mm-hmm. just say to myself, I don't like this glare. I don't want to put up with it. How can I fix it? Very easy. I can find different environments, the Apple's environments that are bright enough that the glare goes away, or I just don't sit in an environment and I put the t- and I put the screen over my OLED in my living room and just take over my living room. No glare there either. So th- th- it's just like a easy do you, fix. Do you have the lights on in your living room when you do that? I just have the lights from my kitchen, which like kind of, so my, the lights in my living room are off, but my kitchen and living room are like one big area kind of. So I'm still See, sitting in dim light. Call me crazy. I like to watch a movie in pitch darkness. Me personally, when I'm do. at the cinema, I don't like the kitchen lights to hey, be on. Hey guys, can you actually, <laughs> can you raise those a little so, bit? <laughs> When I was told that I was about to have this game-changing experience, dude, everything, okay, I maintain the fact that I love the gestures. I love it right. I just think Vision OS was built I love it, and I thing. love it right. Sam Call, everybody. <laughs> I just love, I just, I, there's just so many things that it's like, it's like they're so close, but they're so far. Movie watching could be incredible but there's glare and it's really heavy and gestures could be amazing, but there's not a lot of apps for vision pro that are great yet to even use the gestures. And I don't see my hands some of the time and the 3d spatial videos and photos are great, but it turns out taking photos and videos with one of these on, you're never going to do cause you're never going to have this with you. And then you know the spatial what? videos on your iPhone aren't as good. And it's like, man, everything that I want to do with this, I just can't, it doesn't I think allow I, me to do it. I easy. think I just learned something. You for for doing? many years, I have thought, Sam, he's very much like me, you know? He gets the bigger picture, the bigger meaning. Hmm. And now I'm learning that you are just a fucking nerd, like the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a nerd. I, I can this tell to you, you on my- the- You should do a- You know who you should do a podcast with? Don't say it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Have you heard of Nilay Patel? <laughs> you should you do a podcast with him. He's right up your there alley. You go. I yes, really there think you go. he was. You, you just need right. a couple big Get bracelets. A spiky bracelet. Yes. Yeah. And I've, <laughs> <laughs> and I've listened to his thoughts on Vision Pro, and I really think he got it right. And I no really one is shocked. Oh, no, he did not. I am I of the really firm belief that if right. anybody, a single soul, I don't care if that that man's name rhymes with Parpez Brownlee. If he puts out a review a week after using a brand new product in a brand new emerging product category, you can suck a fuck. You got no idea what you're saying. And I bet if I bet if Marquez, and I love you, Marquez, please give us another review a month after using it, two months after using it. And I bet it changes a little bit. That's you know a good what? idea, Sam. <laughs> this right here, not to give away my review, this piece of hardware I'm holding is irrelevant. It is irrelevant. That is not the point. That piece of hardware is not the point. You got to join the fun. So Andrew. if you, oh, I'm, I am. Listen, <laughs> you have glasses. I don't have glasses, have glasses. on. I feel like, like we're gravity like, help you. About to put on my blue blocking glasses real there quick. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, okay, there we go. Andrew, you smart. look kind of fucking sharp with some glasses. Oh, I yeah. appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, he looks yeah. great. I forgot what I was going to say. Just imagine someone skipped to this part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> when we were having like intelligent conversation. <laughs> like that was okay, here's my problem with you saying that, Andrew, because... Saying what, though? I think if you tell him what he was saying, it might help him say more of it. If you're saying that Apple Vision Pro is this this hardware is irrelevant to the experience, I agree. But the product is what is on sale right now, and right. like that's not all that's on sale though. <sighs> yes, hardware yes. is just a vehicle. Exactly. The experience is, is the experience is on sale. Experience. 
That's like yeah, when you buy an iPhone, you aren't just buying iPhone, you're buying iOS. That's the that's half the fun. I know, Actually, that's more than yeah. half the fun. Because there's <sighs> widely available hardware much better than an iPhone. But iPhone sells the best always. And it's not because of the hardware. Well, it doesn't sell the best always, but in the past two years, it has sold better. I mean, it sells better always. But not because of the hardware. Mm. No, it doesn't sell better always. Actually, Samsung sold more phones uh, between, I think, two thousand. When you say Samsung sold more phones, are you saying they sold the A fucking 9 that's $200 mm -hmm. yes. in a Subway gift card to buy? you said the iPhone always sells the best, though the iPhone doesn't sell the best until now. Right now, the iPhone, out of the top-selling spots, has seven top-selling mm -hmm. spots. Yeah, right now. But it hasn't always been that way. Okay. Is it not like that most of the time? No, this is actually the first time since I think about 2012 that Apple has maintained every single spot there. No, I'm not saying every... Se Are you moving the goalpost? Because all they need is one spot. And now you're saying in order for Apple to be successful, they need seven out of the top 10 selling spots? Yeah, they need all the 10. Graph you just they need referenced. all 10 for me to care. They need to defy the laws of physics. And to be a success, there can't be a single Android phone in the top 10 selling phones. Fucked up. I think here's the difference between you and I. Yeah, there's many differences, but let's go with whatever you think. I think... You have two testicles. We can start with that. I think you do. I am reviewing what this is now, and I think you guys are reviewing what you want it to be. No, incorrect. 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 When you... You're, you're already saying I, something that's unfair. No, but what it is now is not just the hardware it is now. Correct. But Vision OS is still deeply... like. Can't wait to see I have Jaws you review. on video praising the shit out of Vision OS and saying it could yes. be this way in 10 years and it's still perfect. But there's only one way to use Vision OS and the channel is not there. The channel? Mm. What? The, this the, the, is the, the only the way. way to, there's no other way to use Vision OS. I can't just have it in front of me. I can't have right. it in a pair of glasses. So if the only way to use Vision OS is deeply flawed, then I'm not going to use it. Deeply flawed? <laughs> you heard him. Yeah, so, Vision Pro is oh, wait, just to be fair, we're not doing this product. anymore. Okay. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> okay. We are not. Okay, Sam. If Vision OS, I'm sorry, if Apple Vision Pro, you said it's so close yet so far, yeah. and it's deeply flawed. If that's the case, what headset is closer? None. Or all is just every are, single all, headset deeply flawed? All headsets are inherently bad until they get way better. Yeah, but that's not what it inherently means. They're all inherently bad until they're not inherently bad. Yeah, because I, I think it'll change so it can get better. headset is. Yeah, of course. Well, then they're not inherently I'm not bad. That, I'm not saying that this is Vision... I'm not saying this was Vision Pro forever. I know that the second version is going to be way better. And I can't wait. If the second version came out tomorrow, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Okay. See, so you're trying to fit me in a box, and you guys can't. I'm, not putting I'm you in unboxable. A box. I'm unboxable here with the Vision Pro. All right, there's no boxes. I threw it away. Because let me ask you a question: If yeah. you were comfortable in this, if it was perfectly comfortable, yeah, like I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable in here. If you found the right size strap, yeah, let set up, and the comfort portion was solved for you. So let's say you can wear it for ten hours, no problem. Mm. If that part's taken away. How do you feel about it then? Moderately flawed. Okay, so you not deep. Are you moderate. a professional person here that yes. does this for a living? You were not the, the answer is no, right? You were not about to do a product review about a thing that you have not gotten properly fitted for. No, I didn't get properly put a, fitted according it, you to You just Apple. said it you just said they wouldn't they wouldn't. No, because I used the measurements on the phone, which is what no. most customers Okay, but that and that's fine, but having the wrong size is But how am I supposed to know that as you, a customer? What do you mean? You how would I know? I just Apple buy store. this and it it fits wrong. Is it uncomfortable? Like yeah, really uncomfortable? It's, okay. It's like a there pound. You go. That means you have the wrong size. No, and maybe, that's not true. Maybe this is what everyone in the you, community keeps going back to. Maybe it's just too. Why can you it, guys not perceive that maybe this is just bad in a lot of ways? What I'm and that's telling, okay because what that's I'm telling okay. you, what I'm telling you is, 
it physically hurt my face for like the first week. Mm -hmm. And then I just got a different light seal. And though it is still heavy, it doesn't solve that problem. It doesn't hurt me. It used to feel like I was wearing somebody else's cheekbones. And that's because I kind of was. It was the wrong size, and now it's not that, and it's much comfier. It is not, say, comfier than my Quest, because the Quest is lighter, and I have an aftermarket dubla all over it. It feel, My Quest is basically in a bunch of pillows. This, though it is not that as comfortable as that, it is still much more comfortable than when I first had it, and okay. I w it would have been a travesty for me to put out a review to tens of people saying that this is uncomfortable and hurts my face when that's not true anymore. You guys remember Vision Pro pre-order day? I do. And the fact that I had to order two different ones, you remember why? Because in the group chat, Sam and I got different sizes and you started losing your fucking marbles. That's why. No. that It's because I did a scan, placed yeah. an order, then you guys said you had different sizes and I was like, wait, what? I did another scan, got a totally different size from my first scan. Yeah. Then when I went to the Apple store to pick up, I was like, oh, I'll do the, I'll do the demo just so I can see what customers are doing. I scanned again. Totally. I had three <laughs> different scan sizes. So what was the correct so Sam, size? So That's what a I'm problem. Say, what I'm saying to you is just because you scanned your face and got a size does not mean you have the right size because that thing that's where the problem lies is in their scanning thing it's not yes. accurate and and, so really and that's that they need to fix that that needs yes. to be a thing See, but this that's is what not I'm saying. but that's no not a vision pro in, that's not how but yes, that's not a vision is. pro that manufacturing that is as much part of this product is everything else that's not a manufacturing defect that is apple pr going fucky about the release like we shouldn't just rely on a face ID scan, basically. Dude, maybe. I listen. I love you guys. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. I know. I do. I really, really do. I do. And well, I, I would say I feel like you guys just love this thing so much, and you're having a hard time hearing. We just Damn, want you to have, a right fucking, have an aneurysm. We had to can a whole fucking show because I was being <laughs> negative about Vision Pro a week before it came out. And you started questioning my character and saying, <laughs> you just think I want Vision Pro to fail so nothing will change my mind. My mind has been changed and now I can't win there either because you're saying now I just love no. Vision Pro and I can't handle anyone speaking negative about Vision Pro. So which one is it? I'm saying so one of us have an emotional shit. reaction and it's not me. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm saying <laughs> Listen, people, I think this conversation is really illustrated. And, and just hear it from me. The fact that you have to get three different sizings for this product to work. The fact that you have to switch environments to enjoy content. The fact that you have to make all these things makes it a deeply pro flawed product for me. I'm not saying that John and Andrew don't love it. To be clear, they really do love it. I think that they think this is the greatest thing like ever. I was promised by Apple that this was going to be the greatest thing ever. And what I got was a mediocre, a mediocre experience that made me question whether a headset was the right thing at all because I thought Apple would crack it and they didn't for me. That's where I'm at. I don't think Apple cracked the headset. I think Apple made a really dope headset. But when I put it on an Apple Watch for the first time, I've never taken it off. I've never stopped using AirPods. I've never stopped using an iPhone. I've always had an iPad. I've always had a Mac. So why this, is this th thing? What do you want to do? Not Wear a product like that, all man. day that they only made a two-hour battery for? No. Yeah. I want to love those two hours. And I don't. Right but you, now. Okay, listen. This is not a defense of Apple. I'm going to pass out, I think. I'm going to okay. go get a different size. Listen, again. listen. I'm going to go get a different size. I'm going to try it again. But- Every other headset that's come out so far is like a one size fits all as from the headset perspective, right? Mm -hmm. So Apple says, we're going to make a headset that is sized to you. I think you said 17 different sizes. So 17 yes, different oh head God. shapes and sizes we're going to custom fit. But you need to get the right one in order for this product to work for you. The flaw is in the fact that with all these different sizes, it's... It's a challenge for any company, Apple or otherwise, 
to get each person the right thing unless every single person that buys it gets a one-on-one fitting, which no one's going to do or hardly anyone's yeah. going to do. So they have this, you know, this method of using the face ID scanner to scan your head. But as I've as I saw, it's not accurate. Maybe it's accurate for most people, but it wasn't accurate for me. And I'm assuming based on what you say about the comfort level, that's not right for you either. And yeah. since you're using it with the wrong size, because of Apple's method of, of sizing remotely, you are having a subpar experience with the product that you probably, I'm saying probably not for sure, but probably wouldn't be experiencing if you were properly sized in the first place. I think the issue with Vision Pro for a lot of people is the method of sizing the product for you and not the product itself in in only the comfort domain. Yeah, and yeah, I'm and I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna try it again. I want to go back to the episode because I've got that free time to do it, but like a lot of people try it. I'm just saying, man, I've been doing this for a decade. Ain't nothing ever felt like this. And I'm sad about it. Like to be just like John was saying, like, this is not like fun for me to be like, oh, be, this, just to be clear, this means I don't get to use $3,500 of my money. I would have spent that money on something else. I'm not returning this. I'm keeping this. I wanted to use this every day. I wanted it to be awesome. And I'm just finding, like, there are so many other flaws, like the lenses, the minimum focus distance when you have the lenses in, at least for my prescription, they they don't work. Like, I can't see close to me with the Vision Pro, where if I take out the, the lens inserts, I can actually see my phone up close. Like I basically with the lens inserts, I literally can't read my phone with Apple Vision Pro. Do you use which uh, contacts ever? No, I don't, but I, I actually want to get okay. contacts. That's a whole other like life thing that is on my docket. Um, it, it, there's just so many things that, that for me have made it hard. And like, I've talked to other people that have had the headset where they're like, it literally fries my eyes. Like it'll take me days to recover. Um, That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, that's, I'm just trying to, to highlight. Yeah, is there a I think brightness there's been lighter two, in there? Fries your there eyes. There is. It, it can only go. Yeah, like the people. <sighs> when you put something on your head, it affects people in a lot of different ways, and I just don't think I didn't realize going into this product how much when you completely obscure one of someone's fundamental <clears throat> senses, how much that kind of changes everything, and how like. I go from the Quest to the Vision Pro and it's literally like I jumped 10 years into the future. But 10 years in the future like still f- feels fuzzy and it doesn't work all the time. And I know this is just a first-gen product. I am not saying Vision Pro 2 and 3 aren't going to be incredible and that I'm going to be using it every day then. I am saying right now what we have is Vision Pro and Vision Pro ain't it. Vision Pro 2 is going to be sick. Vision Pro 3 is going to be incredible. Vision Pro Air, when they slim down a minimal version glass, is going to be nuts because I love Vision OS and I think it's dope. But right now, what I've got is this. And I'm going to get a different size. Like I said, I'm going to go try to do whatever I can to, to be the fairest as possible. But like, I mean, yeah, I literally sat there. Uh, my parents are staying with me because they're visiting. Very cool. They went to bed. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll throw on Vision Pro and watch some, some stuff. And I was like, why would I do this instead of just turning on my TV? Like yeah, it's really big, but I don't have any glare. That is and there's interesting. Literally nothing on my head with a TV. That's such. And I feel interesting like I can. I feel like I can relax. Take. I don't feel relaxed with a headset on my. I almost fell ever. asleep in it last night. I have fallen asleep in it a couple times. I'm oh I'm my. scared. Like I'm terrified to fall asleep in it because I don't know what my brain's gonna do if I wake up in it. <laughs> like, but that's the thing that I want to explore. Like, I want to set a reminder for me one night to purposely go to sleep in it just so I can experience while waking up. Envision Pro is like because it sounds like the most <laughs> terrifying, terrifying thing that could occur. Yeah. So basically, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at with Vision Pro. I uh, I very much want this to get better. I'm very excited to see what WWDC comes. But right now, there's just literally nothing for me to spend. I mean, yeah, like I'll spend 10, 15 minutes playing a game, or I'll spend a couple I'm minutes. Gonna, but like, it's just I feel it's really like fun and cool. Comfort is really key paramount thing. For you, sure. for I, I think for everyone, because I'm very comfortable in it. Yeah. Um, when you take comfort aside, I feel like I feel like I'm on an adventure when I put this on. Not not in the experience that it's giving me, but like I'm in an adventure of <clears throat> I am seeing where we are going in a way mm-hmm. that I never have before. Maybe with the first iPhone or when the App Store launched, but even even more so than that, it's like I'm in there and it's like. 
okay, here's what it is today. And here's where I can see things going. And I feel so excited about mm. where we're going. And I feel like I, we, <clears throat> we get to be a part of, of that. And so it really, like, I feel discouraged by a lot of people when they're like, I'm bored with this. There's nothing I can do with it. And meanwhile, I'm here. I showed you guys. Like, I have like 135 apps installed on my Vision Pro. So I'm using, I have a one terabyte version and I'm insane. one fourth of my storage is gone when, from all the apps. Because it's like, I want to try everything. I want to see what you can. There's so many things you can do in there that no one has discovered yet that third party developers have already started putting out there. I feel like now this, now this, actually, this is the biggest problem for me that Apple did. This is where Apple failed with the Vision Pro. Why is the App Store articles? The whole App Store is just Apple stories and articles. You can't yeah. find anything. Half of the App Store when you open Vision Pro is, these are great iPad apps that you can use on your Vision Pro. Yet on Twitter, they're like, we have over a thousand apps for Vision Pro native. Yet you can't find them. Yeah. That is, that's is the worst a, thing about this product. Is there a top charts? No, in the Vision Pro there's no top charts. There's no top free, top paid, what? top productivity. Everything is an is an article. Everything is Apple writing an Bruh. article and then like giving like a top Bruh. ten, just like a list of chosen stuff. It's incredibly like short sighted. You can't just go in and say, "Show me all of today's apps." You have to use third party websites to do that. But there's so many cool things you can do in there that developers have been doing that most people have not seen. Yeah, that's crazy. In, I will spoil a part of the of my review, but there's a there's a, a part in the review where I kind of reveal what I what I how I look at Vision Pro in totality, and that is I view it as a time machine, and so to go along with what Andrew was saying, like <clears throat> wait, oh, fuck, <laughs> uh, I yeah to me. Vision Pro is a time machine into the future. And that is the experience to me. Like that is the whole, that's the whole reason why it's important. That's the whole reason why I want to go in it. That's the whole, re the, like, it's like going on vacation, but taking a rickety old car or going on vacation and having to like, no one goes on vacation and talks about their fucking expensive plane ticket that they had to use to get there. They just talk about how great the vacation was. And... That's what this is. It's like the experience inside Vision Pro is incredible, actually. And there's a lot of ways that the hardware needs to improve to make the entire experience feel seamless because it doesn't feel seamless currently. And right now, it's not about, oh, I can't wait for Vision Pro 2, the hardware, Vision Pro 3, the hardware. It's right now, this is what it is. I completely agree with Sam that you have to review the product for what it is right now. And right now, to me, it's just the vehicle to get to the destination. It's just a time machine. And the fact that we have a time machine in 2024 is insane. You can actually buy – this is the, the first thing in ever that feels like you can actually purchase with – Human currency, a time machine. That's so yes. interesting. Hmm. Yes. I want, this I want is a time I want machine. I want to go back. <laughs> Can it take me back no, to? Yeah, please. <laughs> we had the Pony Express, right? Something happens. A family member of yours dies. And someone has yeah. to like call someone on a horse and send like a freaking note to you. And it's going to get to you in three weeks. Then Alexander Graham Bell invents this telephone. Giant, weird, cumbersome thing that allows you to just dial a few and you get to talk to someone across across In the country, time. wherever they're at. Imagine reviewing that thing and being like, this thing is so big and stupid, <laughs> right? <laughs> but it's that's... Like, <laughs> it's so uncomfy to hold. <laughs> No, I'm saying I'm but, not saying but, what you what you have to say is irrelevant. No, what I'm know, saying I is know. like it's kind of like that. But you guys are still <laughs> <laughs> still what you say laughed. It. Say it. What? <clears throat> if the main takeaway from a product is wow, I'm looking at the future. That's not a good product. <laughs> what? Are you because saying you just are you be saying that we think it's not good in the present? 
Yeah, I'm saying like I ever, I'm just hearing everybody be like, "Future, it's here!" Oh my no, god, no, but AR it's the future now. Future I'm, not saying, I'm not saying I'm not saying you get in Vision Pro and you the future now. I'm not saying you get in Vision Pro and go, "Wow, I can see where this is going." I'm literally saying right. you can get in Vision Pro and be in the future, see the future Today. right now. That's the selling point right you put it now, on and it feels like you jumped into the future. Like you, I, yeah. I'm almost, I'm almost jealous yeah. of when this becomes more mass adopted. Cause right now it feels like I have access to something. The majority of people don't. And soon it, the future is only the future until everyone has the future. And then it just is. But yeah. how many years for this product until everyone has one? Well, that's like that's a, more vi about a vision that's product. That's what I'm saying. Yes. I Wait, just, are you not happy with the product until everyone has one? No, I just <laughs> like it has no value to you until everyone. I has don't it. think a lot of people, and I just want to say something that I've sort of been feeling say and it. also say hearing it. from. Say it. Say it. It's a safe space. Clearly, no one's yelled at you this whole show. How many women are on this podcast talking about VR with us? No, you didn't. What is that? What do you? What does that mean? What are you saying? What does that mean? What are you saying? Vision Pro is not a success I, because we didn't get I Justine on tonight. No, 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 it's not no. Not sexy. I don't think. <laughs> like just a big. If we're just talking about a thing that goes on your head, yeah. right? Whether it's uh -huh. headphones yeah. or Vision Whatever. Pro, it can mess up your hair. It can mess up your makeup. These are things that as men we don't really have to think about. True. That's true. These I are do. very, very large barriers for like half the population in America that they will have That's to, fair. it will have to be so good that they do not care that their hair and makeup get messed up at all. There's never been a product in the world like that before where, okay, you hold the phone up to your ear. I'm just, these are just the things that I think about with this first one where I, I was in the camp of like, oh, four or five years, everybody's going to be in one of these. And now Can I'm like, I, I don't <sighs> think in 15 years, not most ever, people would want not, I don't know if you've ever lived with a woman. But they aren't always in I, hair I and have. makeup. I'm just saying they aren't <laughs> yeah. always in hair and makeup. Just like I. But they can be if they do their persona that way. They can Same. be. Yeah. Yeah, they can always be tippy top if they get a good scan, which is hard. But anyway. I also... Go ahead, sorry. Um, I am the same way. Like, I wouldn't... Like, I had to record front page tech, right? I had to record it after we recorded our episode in Vision Pro with Quinn. And I knew if I was going to do that, I would have to take a shower first... Mm. before I record it because I know on camera I will, my hair will be matted and it'll look like it was wearing something. I know that, so that's a change. That, like, I understand completely what you're saying and I agree that like to use it, there's a, the, the thought process is a little bit longer. You have to think, okay, do I have anything else to do today? Do I have anything right after? Am I going to ruin how I look right after? Like, yeah. it, you know, that, that whole thing. Uh, but I don't think it like, I think that thought process can be the same for everybody. Sure. Uh, in some ways. Yeah. Like that, there, there is definitely a barrier for everyone. I just like, I guess I just feel like what Quinn has said is really, man, it's stuck with me. Don't bet what against a say? smartphone. Don't bet against a smartphone. That's like the smartest thing I've ever heard anybody say. Quinn Nelson last time he was, I think it was last week, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I think it was just last but week. But that's not the battle. I don't think that's the battle. It, no, it's a battle. Apple is happy for you to get both. Yeah. No, what I'm and, saying is Apple is happy for you to get both. Yes. I just, oh. Like, I don't think this is a bet against a smartphone. Like, if somebody asked me to bet right now, I would bet that big, bulky headset computer fails and glasses win. Bro. The, oh, the, and the glasses dude. don't do everything that a headset could. Sam, the, Sam. You don't watch movies Sam, in the glasses. Your phone, you doesn't, right. your phone is a PC, and it doesn't do all the exact everything same thing. Hang does. I am not done. Your phone is a PC, okay? Yeah. Technically. But you yes, can't sir. do everything at the scale that you can do on a desktop computer. It's always going to be that way. The headset is the desktop. The, the contact lenses or the frames, the glasses frames are the phone of the future. The headset is not mm -hmm. the phone of the future. The headset yeah. is the desktop PC. I can see that. Agreed. I think I would argue that we're all, Vision Pro might always be the big bulky one. It might always be that. It might be the desktop destination. Less bulky, exactly. but not, exactly. not glasses.
I'm yeah, with the you, vision. Bro. I I'm a, I would go as far as say his Vision Pro might never not be a headset. Exactly. Yes. You. We agree. And not it everyone needs, needs a desktop PC. And I have a problem with that. Yeah. You want it to be. Why? You want it. You have. But if, like, if okay. What if options. Vision? What if Apple Vision is the lighter version? You would still be against Vision Pro being the headset. No, no. I'm saying you guys can enjoy it. You can get Vision Pro. I just want everything. It's going to be a product for me. Ever. That's all. That's all my arguments are for for me right now. Like, I just think. Are that you hoping headset- for glasses? Like, would that be the product for you with the limitations that glasses would have? Like, for example. Oh yeah, Vision OS with glasses would be sick. I still, as I've used Vision OS more and my my thoughts have developed, I still am not. Fully in the camp of big windows and virtual things in front of you are it. Because parts of me do experience gimmicks with the windows and the moving them that- I'm trying not to say it. Yeah, I know. I know. You know, know, you know what I'm thinking right now. I know. Say I it. just don't think it's always going to be windows. I think they're windows right now because that's the entire digital world. But once yeah. we, we've added like, a, we've now added a third dimension to the digital world, and now now d- the digital world will start to be scalable in a third dimension. So we have in to, ten we have years, to like ease us in yeah, in ten thing. years, I don't see us with Windows. I see it more seamless with real life, like mm-hmm. Apple.com looking more like an Apple Store. Mm. Yeah, augmented reality, sick. This ain't an augmented reality headset. I wish it was. Plus, plus AI. Plus something John said on Geared Up, was it last week you were there? Yep. Which I, thought was I listened brilliant. to that episode. That was great. Um, he was saying how one way you can address the glare might not be through physics, but through AI cleaning it up. Like AI has been doing all sorts of stuff in the background. A lot of people, when they hear Apple's getting into AI, they think of like generative AI and yeah, not the things that their AI is currently doing now. Like the a lot of the stuff in the camera is AI. When you're able to like, like make AI a with a specific use case, like a specific right. job. So it seems like there there might be ways to decrease size, increase comfort, and make the experience better by using AI algorithms to kind of clean like things up yeah, like right now, it. right now, let's say for eyesight, right? So eyesight works a certain way with a specific code, and obviously that doesn't work as well because like eyesight is trying to first of all it's insane it's replicating a 3d render of your visual face in real time and then displaying just the eye portion in a frontal display that isn't the same display as the inside display and it's completely creating a different shape around you and they're tr- and they're using sort of the same code maybe there's some maybe the, maybe there's separate code for but maybe we're talking like let's say hypothetically even a hundred different styles of code to make that work and there's way more than a hundred different styles of people where AI could run the calculations based on your face shape, where your eyes are in conjunction with the screen itself, and correct for that field of view, and change how how eyesight is displayed so it doesn't look like it's your face stretched amongst the display. Mm-hmm. It could run all the the calculations itself and fix it specifically tailored to you. And where right now they can't do that. I don't know how long we are from that, but I'm just saying like. There are two avenues the future is headed, and mixed reality and AI are, I think, it. And I think it's naive to think that those those roads won't merge. Just like yeah, it's naive possible. to think that very, very you know so. that these are away that these are somehow exclusive and away from AI when AI is has been a part of these for so 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 long. I know not generative AI like Chat GPT or something like that, but Apple has been using AI with little bumpers. Like when you go to the bowling alley and you th- and you try not to get the ball in the bumpers, you can put up little guards where it just mm-hmm. makes sure the ball doesn't go in there. Apple has done that with AI where they just keep putting guardrails up the whole time to try to control it. And I think that that is where AI really shines, not where it's... I mean, generative AI is really cool, but using it to s- fulfill a specific job in real time is insane. Yeah. But I don't know how many years we are from that. Do you think... I really want to see Sam comfortable in here. I feel like I want to I want to hear oh, your that'll thoughts definitely on help a lot. Pro after you're comfortable wearing it, and I wonder how much it'll change just from that one thing. Yeah, definitely. I will, I will give it a go. But I will also say like when I'm in it, even I am moderately comfortable, you know, early in the first 20 whatever minutes. Uh, I don't find working very easy in it. Like I don't find it very productive 
or useful in all that ways. Like it's really fun. Like I love sometimes. I think that's what I'm just saying about the headset part. Like the other day I was sitting down, especially with people over, you're never grabbing vision pro to go on safari instead of an iPad. There's other humans in the room. Like to me, I'm like, oh yeah, I would never use that set. But like, even when I am like using vision pro and it's magic and I'm like, this is so cool. And I like get caught up in like the, the scroll gestures and pinching and zoom. It's so, it's amazing. Like it's so much fun in a way I've never had with like augmented or virtual reality. Mm -hmm. um, and then like, the illusion will break because it's a first gen product. You know, it won't see my hands sometime or something, whatever. That's fine. I, I know that, it's, that there's going to be, I know it's not going to be like 100% perfect final vision. Um, but it's just like that thought to go in is a thing. And maybe it's just because it's new. Like a fair argument is you're just not used to vision pro yet. You'd say the same thing about the iPhone or Apple watch. Like yeah. You have to go in and do this thing. I think that's a fair argument. And I'm not even saying that I'm right, but I am saying I've had this for over three weeks now. Every single time I put it on, it's not like Vision Pro. It's, okay, this battery in pocket. Okay, now we just got to my home screen. Like it's a, it's a thing that I, there's just something tangible. Like The first same could iPhone, be said for a up. Mac. Like you got to go to, well, spe specifically for our desktops, we got to go into a completely dedicated room on a dedicated setup, yeah. turn all of those things on just to get into our Mac. That's what I had to do for this podcast. <laughs> and also, I'm the same, I mean, I'm the, I know that especially right now, especially right now, amongst people putting on Vision Pro is foreign, but to this day, I can't fucking stand when someone gets on their phone in front of me. You're still leaving really? me. Yeah, like I, I, like hmm. watch watching a movie. The worst thing you could be doing is watching a movie with me, and I see you pick up your phone. A part of me dies inside. Because <laughs> that means you're dinner. bored. Same huh? thing. If we're at dinner, if we're at dinner, and I like. Oh, if we're if we're at dinner and you pick up your phone, I'm fucking. I'm I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. But that's just a personal thing for me. But if they so pick like, up their Vision Pro, you'd be like, "That's so good, man! You're in the future." No, 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 no. no you it's do that. No, you I'm saying it's the same Pro. thing. <laughs> if you put on Vision Pro with me at dinner, I'm gonna have an issue with that. But like. I'm sure I have an issue with that now, and that's way, 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 well, many years after the smartphone came out. I can only imagine how foreign it was when you're at dinner with someone when smartphones were new and they fucking opened it up. Yeah, I will say, like, in social situations, especially around like new people, I'm not going to like look at my phone during like a dinner. If I'm on a but date it, or when you're at dinner with me, you phone. will. That's what that sounded like. I don't. I mean, I've been on my phone a couple times at dinner. Like I can remember one dinner where like Luke and Noah were there, where I was on my phone for, I mean, I think I've done it a couple times, but I think now that you mentioned that, yeah, I haven't really ever noticed you on your phone when we're out, which is- I'm very present, or at least I try to be. But yeah, that's yeah, like, that's are, not, that's, that's just a me thing. That could be, you know. Yeah, that's cool. I think it's a personal. Sam, are you in the age group where people leave their headphones in when they're having yeah. a conversation? I'm like, not a huge people, fan of that. But yeah, a lot so of people you, might- You take them out. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, did you take them? Up? Okay. Yeah. Uh, unless I'm in like an elevator, like going up yeah, to my yeah, apartment, yeah. I'll like leave. Yeah. It. But so like, let's no, say you're like gonna it, like walk up to a, you're gonna walk up and order a coffee or something at the. Yeah. At the oh yeah, I would say they're both coming out. I'd say they're both coming out. Yeah, even 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 yeah. though, or like especially if I'm tra traveling is when it happens the most. Someone's talking to me, even though I definitely have transparency mode, I will physically take it out just just yeah. so it registers for them. Hey, I whatever you're about to say, I'm here. But that's just like a. That's just a me thing. I know that it's becoming more acceptable to not do that. And there's probably people right now that are on their phones at dinner. Hopefully you don't have this podcast on while you're, while you're on a dinner, but still. <laughs> like, I can't stand that. I will ignore everybody. If I'm, if I'm, it doesn't matter who I'm with. Like, if I'm with Sam at dinner, not a single thing, it, am I, no notifications matter to me. Unless there's a hardcore emergency or like, and I'm. I also won't check my watch. That's equally like as not for oh, the time, on. but you when gotta, I get a notification, I'm a little on my sneaky wrist. time as you stretch. You're telling me and, that no, there's no one in your life who would message you where you're like, oh, I should take a look at this. Not immediately, and it, and it, and and those people in my in my life will know to call. Like, mm. uh, if there's if there's people close enough to me, 
that call, they probably know I'm doing something. If they call, it's an emergency, especially if they call twice. So I'll answer. Okay. I got it. Okay. But like, okay. Okay. if you're just sending me a text, it doesn't matter who you are. If I'm physically with Andrew and my, if I'm physically with Sam, they will have my attention. That's just like a, I don't know why I do that. It just feels icky to not do that. Because I'm only with you for what, an hour? I can be, I'm on my phone all day. Right. Right. Why start with the desktop? Why show us what AR and VR looks like in that form well, factor? Well, I mean, that could go back to the original argument that I said when they announced Vision Pro was maybe they did too early. Maybe they should have waited for glasses. I think it's because they want... The paradigm is... This isn't, this isn't to play around. We're really ushering in the next era of computing Mm -hmm. which to a lot of people or even most people probably means work. So Apple was trying, they weren't trying to give us the next iPod. They were trying to give us the next Mac. Yeah. And because and, they want to see yeah. something that you integrate, not just into play, not just into entertainment, but also into your work life and your coworkers, whoever it might be, your zoom calls. Um, and, and also that's that whole spatial computing thing. Yeah. Also, I was very much, of the mind, especially early on where I was like, they announced this too early. They should have just waited until they gave us the glasses because in my head, it was only glasses in the future. But now I've changed my mind where I think there will always be a space for headsets. Maybe not this big and bulky, but this is where serious computing will be done just as a desk, the Mac studio is where I do my serious computing and my phone is where I just can casually compute. You're sounding like Zuck there, bro. Good. I think he's right. I, I I have said this multiple times. I think Zuckerberg is one of the one of the people that absolutely understands this at a level we, no no one was getting this yet. Like he has seen this for long enough, and now I'm just now seeing it, which is yeah. I think Zuck understands more about this than a lot of us have for a long time, and in a way understands it more than Apple. And I think Zuck is completely wrong. I think Zuck doesn't know what the hell he's doing, which but, is why he But why? His because he runs Facebook? Be... No, because Zuck <laughs> It's very interesting to watch the tech community like sort of take Zuck back after like all the shit he's done in his entire career, which is like quite literally been built on like lies and theft. And like if you just watch how Meta as a company moves, they are so unfocused in short term that like it's just funny. Like one week it'll be we're pivoting to Meta is they, full in on the metaverse. The next quarter it's Meta is full in on AI and the future of like. But Zuckerberg himself, like everybody else, don't look at don't look at shareholder data and all sure. that stuff. Step back and look at Zuckerberg. He has put so much of his own money into this. He changed yeah. the company to Meta because he believes this is the future. Yeah, they changed the whole company name. Yeah, like. I'm not saying Zuck is a perfect human. He's made a lot. There is a lot of le th 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 thighs and left. There is a lot of theft and lies, but there was with Steve Jobs too, and he's a fucking god, dude. The you mouse, think? the graphical user interface, stolen, theft, lies. This, but he's uh, a god to these. He's a god. He's a god to these people. Steve Jobs is a fucking genius, a flawed genius. Mark Zuckerberg is today's flawed genius amongst a handful of them. He that is the craziest thing. Andrew, what do you think? Do you think Mark Zuckerberg is a genius? Yes, I do. Um, mm. But here's <laughs> like, the what? thing. I think the people who are like the, the founder CEOs. Yeah. So I'm talking people like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg – Founder CEOs, if you look at their stories, they are all, it's like they excel in this one area, but in so many other areas, they are like terrible people. Elon too. And, yeah, Elon, same. He's not a founder CEO. Fair. Like He's founded something, but not Tesla. Yeah, he's, he, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. one of his lies, that he's the founder of Tesla, even though he acquired it. He also so, lied about founding PayPal and shit. So it's like, you know. Yes, but I think if you, okay, here's how, if you sat down one-on-one -on -one with Mark Zuckerberg and you were able yeah. to give him a pill that just made him completely honest the whole time, mm. you would probably leave that two-hour discussion like, wow, 
that guy is way smarter than I thought he was. That's why I say he is one of those geniuses for sure. Okay. Doesn't mean I agree with him. And you don't have like to agree can, with geniuses. Yeah, he can be wrong about a lot, and still I can still believe he's right about VR and AR, and has been Something. right for a long time. To be clear, I'm not here saying that I am smarter than Mark Zuckerberg. I do not think I am smarter <laughs> than Mark Zuckerberg. However, I do not think that Mark Zuckerberg is a genius. I can I can say that slightest. he can have some bad takes and still be on the right path. For example, like Steve Ballmer. I think he was a terrible CEO for yeah. Microsoft. Yeah. But he did do Hilariously some good stuff. Hilariously bad sometimes, yeah. He did do some good stuff, and he totally missed the mark on, like, if it wasn't for him, Microsoft would probably still be a big player in mobile. Um, okay, let's have so a So I feel like Mark Zuck- Go ahead. Tim Cook, genius or not genius? Genius. He's a logistics genius. Yeah. Mass manufacturing changed area. forever. For everybody, not just Apple, because of Tim Cook. I think Tim Cook's a genius. He's absolutely. He's a genius. also, but he, I wouldn't say he's a level of genius as some of the others. He's no Bill Gates. He's no Steve Jobs. It, no, but we're close. He's also genius enough to know who to surround himself with. To yeah, Tim success, Cook is not a is conceptual well. genius. Yes, he's a genius at making those conceptions a reality, and that's why he's so neat. Yeah, but still a genius. I, I actually. I think Tim Cook is more of a conceptual genius than people give him credit for. Do tell. I, I, I'm not basing this on anything. I just just reading interviews and stuff about him. I think, I think Tim Cook knows do you what's think, up do you think, in a way that he doesn't get credit for. Do you think Tim Cook came up on his own believing that spatial computing is the future? Or do you think someone showed him why it's the future and then he got on board? Like, no, that's it, the difference it, between it's a Steve on record. Jobs. He got up and saw it yeah. and was like, this is the future. Okay. Well, that's the difference between somebody like a Steve Jobs and somebody like a him. That's not Steve Jobs true. could that- Steve Jobs could conceptualize these things out of thin air and tell you why it's going to work. And Tim isn't that, but he's still a fucking genius. Arguably, I mean, I made a whole video about this. Tim Cook is the better CEO. Doing CEO things, Tim Cook is a much better, does a much better job at that than Steve literally ever did. But Apple wouldn't exist without a Steve Jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Cook a genius. He's not a founder CEO. The founder CEO, there's something different there. Yeah. I just think Mark, I think Mark's wrong. I think the metaverse is a lie. I think VR is a lie. And I think we all actually want to feel more human at the end of the day, not less. Why is VR a lie? What do you mean VR is a lot? Like it's virtual. I, know, so I, just, say, I just said a lot. I said a lot there in those few words. What? But you said, you, yeah, you said it's a, you said a couple things there are a lie. Why are they a lie? I don't think what people actually want. Like if I was, if I was founder CEO, right? We're talking about yeah. me, the vision of what the future is. And I just feel like the more time I spend in a headset, the less... I want to do that. And the more I want to pick up and interact with physical objects like a phone and a watch and these real tangible things in the world I, I want to interact with. And I want to inter- interact with people more in person than virtual. Like this is a great way to like get around that. And there's some parts of it that are cool, but like I just, man, I, uh, to me, the fact I that I, I just, see. I, to me, I just don't think Apple did a good enough job with Vision Pro 1 to convince me. Basically is what I'm saying. I think for you guys, they did. I think this is like the moment where you were like, this is the future. And I think for me, it just doesn't feel that way. And I'm kind of waiting for Apple to show me that still. Yeah. Uh, So I went into the Vision Pro thing saying, I I think Vision Pro is going to not be great, but I strongly believe that mixed reality is the future. So I believe yeah. I believe in the concept before I ever tried Vision Pro. Vision Pro is just the first thing to actually give me the future that I that I was that I was conceptualizing. Yeah. Okay. Do you think now that you tried Vision Pro or maybe even before, do you think mixed reality is simply just not the future? Do you think yeah, it's I something think else? Strictly augmented reality is the future. Strictly. So yes, not, mixed no. reality is the future. No, not mixed. That's augmented. That's what augmented no, mixed, is. 
No, mixed is virtual and AR together. Okay. That's a mixed reality product. But I don't I don't think the virtual I think the virtual reality stuff is frankly a gimmick. I don't think virtual reality is really it. I think there's nice applications that are gonna be super fun. Like for That's watching insane. movies, you can like go to tell, you know, go to a little little theater, go to Disney, mm-hmm. go to the top of the Marvel Tower, and it's fun to look at a New York City and you're like, wow, I'm in a movie theater. Uh, can I say something? And that's fun. What yeah. you saying virtual reality is a gimmick and not it yeah. is crucially and wildly insane for someone yeah, that spends a lot of free time in video games. Yeah. That take you somewhere else, a universe that isn't real with people that are also just avatars. Yeah, video games are a gimmick, man. I know. And also saying like you like to have real life experiences. Whereas like for me, like we are having a real life experience right now that we could not otherwise have without the technology that we're using. And I feel like it's, yeah, but it's just an enabler. Provides stuff like that that we can't even get now in the future. And I would say augmented reality of like seeing you guys in my space is it. And I think you guys are like, yeah. well, you could be in a different space. I, yeah, I just want you guys in my real space to feel as human as possible. And for me, it, it is augmenting my reality. Mm-hmm not taking me somewhere else. But but like, you don't think that there's a space, like visual reality isn't going to be the end all be all. Just no, like no, be, I, playing a game of Call of Duty is not the the future. But it's like a part of our human existence, right? Like yeah, you, yeah. I'm, all I'm the avenues of there's virtual, not a space reality for virtual reality. Is, okay. Just like there's a space for video games and there's a space for well, people who smoke well, cigarettes. Well, when, the, and when like, these become I don't know, the whatever phone, you do to have fun. <laughs> when these become the phone yeah. and we just have glasses... Things like the headset will still exist to give us hardcore computing and virtual environments to put us somewhere else. Whether that be sure, in a video game, which is insane, yeah. in a cinema, either uh-huh. alone or with other people, or in Apple immersive content, which is insane. It's the only time to- Apple immersive, I have seen like VR content on YouTube and stuff. Apple immersive is the first thing that gave me like dread, like being in a canyon and being able to look down and see I could fucking fall. And my brain is like, yep, dude, you one wrong move and you're dead. That is in saying that that can happen. And that's not even touching people with physical impairments that can finally see parts of the world never before possible. Go to places never before possible. Ride a roller coaster even. Like just insane levels of accessibility that virtual reality will always be able to give us on in a spatial level that video games only touch the surface of. That there's games, always going to be a place for VR. Video games are still pretty niche overall. Like especially, I don't know, as I'm getting older, I'm seeing more and more of my peers stop playing video games. And I would agree. I often question for myself, like, is there an age where I will say part of me says no, because it is something I really enjoy. But I also recognize like I don't know. I guess my my vision for the world is very different. My, My my vision for the world is like more disconnected. God, may, maybe I should start a tech company and show people. <laughs> like well, maybe I should make something better if I have again, this uh, crazy I, like, idea for the future. Uh, um, I've mentioned this before on the show, and this has made it into the review, so I'm not really spoiling anything because start, everything starts in Genius Bar first. Yeah, dude. But to me, Vision Pro gives me the ability to feel more disconnected than I ever have on my phone, which is I know it's an odd thing to say because I'm physically putting on like a portal. Yeah. But with, with my with my phone, I'm just I'm directly in it and can be swept away. Like I'm having to choose to be in this rectangle. Whereas with Vision Pro, once it's on, I have the ability to be anywhere, go anywhere, and like if I get a notification, it's a much more seamless thought to just go reply, instant reply, send the message off back to what I'm doing. Whereas with my phone, like I'm in I'm in the thread basically. And like, yeah, it just gives me the option to be, and that's with a headset on my face. I can only imagine when it's just something I put on every morning or put in every morning that I wear. And I don't know what it is. Is it, is it something like Neuralink that gets put into our brain? Cause that scares the hell out of me. I think it's more likely that we wear something like contacts or. But yeah. More likely than a brain chip. Yes. I'm yeah. with you. If, if, if Neuralink is the future, then yes, everyone will be using yeah. Vision Pro. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think that's, I think that's it. It's where you can, it's more a la carte where you choose where you're connected and how you're connected instead of being forced into a thing that is always connected. 
It's so interesting you view it that way, and it is—it's a very unique perspective because I Vision, I certainly... Vision Pro is the first product, and it happened beca- on the Genius Bar episode that has made me feel not alone in a space that, if you step back, I'm clearly very much alone. Oh my gosh, I'm, and I'm the complete yeah. opposite. I feel more alone in Vision Pro, like on FaceTime with you, and I can your eyes are real and making eye contact with me. I'm very cognizant of the rest of my body, even though you definitely can't see the rest of me. And it's just like you you feel present with me in a way that like an avatar hasn't or or anything really. Like I feel like you're there with me. The depth also helps sell it. And that's like V1 of beta personas. So like it's the first yeah. thing that that tricks me into not feeling alone. And that that's going to do crazy things for like – we're. N- we're never going to be in a lockdown again, feeling like we can't see our friends. Right. That changes the fundamental human experience. Not only when you're alive, but also death. Spatial videos change the fundamental way we may cope with human loss. In the same way that pictures did when they were invented. Do you think spatial video is that compelling? I have goosebumps right now with you just asking me that question. Spatial video is like, uh, it is, the, it, the it's more. an emotional experience. Like it's a visceral technological marvel. The more milestones you experience or loss and or loss you experience in life, the more important that feature will feel to you. Like, okay, Sam, and this is not, I'm not, you are incredibly lucky to have both of your parents and stuff. This isn't like, well, if you, maybe if you lost one, like that's not what this is. You kids yet. Yeah, but like, if you- Yeah, that you when, know about. When you were in Vision Pro, right? And you opened up that panorama of your college dorm. That was emotional mm. for you because you were back there. I didn't yeah, give a awesome. fuck because to me, that's just a picture of a place. Like, But to mm-hmm. you, you could feel that picture again. Now imagine you play, va- play back a video of your mom a year after she's gone, two years, 10 years after she's gone. Like yeah. that is to put you back in that space to not only hear a voice, like I have very rare, like I don't, I have like one 10 second recording of my mother's voice and it's like not, it was like far away. It's not a good representation of her voice. Other than that, almost no memory of what a person sounds like. This is that in a third dimension to, to feel like you could reach out and touch them again and they feel alive is like, Man, that's an I've insane never thing. never shot or seen a spatial video that felt like that. It just, because I Why? Also, because they are, because you could just look over and see them for real? Have you been recording some this week? Your parents are visiting. Did you record any? No, I have not. I'll record I hope you have. I mean, I hope you will. I, I haven't because putting on a headset takes me out of the experience. No, 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 no. On your iPhone. Just on your iPhone. No, 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 no. Specifically, spatial video is much better on Vision Pro. I wish it wasn't that way. It is, but, the, but I'm this, saying this iPhone yeah. is better than nothing. It is. You're at Universal Studios with your parents. You're not going to throw your Vision Pro on. Yeah. No, I didn't record any spatial video because I- I just I think, recommend you do so. Oh, man. I just still am like, yeah, 3D content in general is a gimmick. But it's not- like, That's not 3- here to stay. Dude, I tried to watch more of Elemental again in 3D and it hurt. It's like- But this is your- It's not a 3D movie. It's a moment in that. time. Yeah, you're it's not a spending two hours time. looking at something. Yeah, exactly. You're capturing a moment. In a time. Moment. It's not a video anymore. It's a, it's a whole memory. Yes. I, again, it's cool. It's not, 3D isn't a gimmick when that's how you live your life it's for real. It's not supposed to be cool. The coolness isn't the, it's not about the cool factor at that point though. It's really about stepping back into a memory. Like you, you're there. You're just looking, you can see it. It's not about the cool factor. It's like not what about if you, cool what if you three. had, if you stepped into a video and could see Macy walking around on the floor, like that wouldn't, not even a little bit. No, it would make me feel something because it's my that's dog I mean. who's dead that's and I love her. Okay, that's but what I, I mean. get that with a that's video I mean. of her. I'm just I, I guess what I'm saying is for me, like, I don't know if a th- I don't know if the the dimensionality of a video would change that emotional reaction oh. in a way that would be that meaningful to me. Oh good. Like, if you're looking at a look photo, at photos. Then you're looking at a video, and then you're looking at a memory. Your dog walk up to your legs and like jump up to your knees from first person. Those all seem equal to you. 
the way that the spatial video has to be shot to enjoy it is very specific, and that's not how I shoot a lot right of my now. favorite videos. Mm. Right um, now. But this was weird too back in but the again, day. This we're was talking, fucking. We're talking this was about right now, man. I, like, I know what I'm. But what I'm saying is, when you did this, people freaked out. People freaked out about cell phones in bathrooms because there was cameras on a phone. That yeah. is, that's how foreign this was. But now it's like now you're just saying I'd rather do this because that's the that's the accepted experience. But like yes, because. I, and I believe that a bulky headset will never be that thing. Correct. I, I, I also agree with that. Okay. But right now, it's not in the smaller form factor that it's – right now, you can capture spatial video like this. You can. It exists that way. But I'm saying like if you're thinking about future you – with the people that are alive right now, not in the future mm -hmm. when you have the smaller product, this thing does it today. And sometimes, maybe even if it's just a couple times a year, you pull out this thing to record an actual memory, future you is not going to give a fuck how big that thing was. That's like the people that used to pull out giant cameras and have to crank them. Or the people that wanted their uh, a portrait taken and they couldn't move for an hour because the shutter had to be open for an hour. It was ridiculous, but that's the only way to do it right then and now. And if my mom dies next year versus if I still had her now, I'm not going to feel silly that I did it in the big clunky thing. I'm just going to be glad that I did it. But you will also so be glad, just as an aside, that you took it on your iPhone as opposed to not taking it at all because Vision Pro yeah. records it better. It's still yeah. better to have it. See, that's so interesting because I feel like, and maybe this, this is, it's kind of sounding like a personal change in my life. Like, I don't really take a lot of photos and videos of stuff because I just want to like experience that as it is. Oh, and I, I, I've noticed, yeah. I've, I've noticed for me, like, uh, yeah, I've just noticed for me, like, I feel like I'm being taken out. I used to take this a lot is, of photos and videos. This is a very and, personal thing to say, but, like, everyone that's in my life has always had an issue with how many pictures I take. And it's a direct correlation to how many people I've lost. Yeah. I am constantly, like, I am constantly, if, if I see a moment, it instantly registers as an instinct for me to pick up my phone and capture it. And I'm not talking mm. about things that, like a concert. Like, no, I, I can't stand with... Yeah, I'm talking about like a life moment that does that seems meaningless to you, but I will take out a, my phone to record the video or take the picture because I can like almost put my ba myself back in the shoes where like, man, I wish I would have taken this. I wish I would have captured this. Now I see mm -hmm. it on instinct where it just feels like a moment worth capturing and I'm constantly doing that and it annoys everyone I've ever been with. And like, that's and may, maybe that's a problem with me. Maybe it is directly correlated with, I don't know what I'm going to do when you're gone. So it's like, it can be, it can be, maybe it's a part of my childhood. Maybe it's because my brain developed in loss like that to where I'm more cognizant in real life. I absolutely subscribed. And this is the same guy that doesn't take his phone out during a dinner. Like, so I, I, yeah, no, I, I, can, I, I understand that. both. And mm -hmm. I just wonder like, uh, it's just a, it's just a thing that I wish and I, I really wholeheartedly wish humans did not have to experience substantial loss to gain that instinct to pick up the, the camera. I wish that that wasn't a thing that had to occur. But, like, there's nothing I can say to talk you into it. It's just a thing that has to happen to you for you to establish an emotional connection with the words that I'm saying. Like, I, you, for you, me saying this and Andrew saying this— absolutely connects with you and resonates with you. I, I know that because, I mean, you're just, it's a human thing and you're a smart human. But like, there's a thing about knowing it and it making sense and feeling what I'm saying. No, I, I, I can, I can too, extrapolate what you're saying. And you, I don't think you have to, with vision, I, this might just be me. I don't know. But I have found that some of my favorite spatial videos that I've taken are of what you would probably consider to be insignificant moments. So it wasn't that I was disturbing, you know, um, singing happy birthday to someone and I'm taking out my phone or putting a headset on during that. I've taken videos just walking around Target with someone and like, mm, yeah. And then putting that on later where it's like, there was really no reason to even take this video. I wouldn't have taken it for any other reason otherwise than to test out this feature. 
But then when I went back and was like, <laughs> then when I went I'm back going to in. watch, huh. I was like, this is one of my favorite videos. And if this person was no longer in my life, uh-huh. this video, which is not, again, a t- uh, a, what you would traditionally consider like a special moment to capture. It's uh-huh. just living life with this person and being able to go back to a memory. Yeah. So... Like, cool. even right now, Sam, even though the podcast, you're seeing us in 2D on a screen, if you record a spatial video mm-hmm. and watch this five years from now, it's going to put you back in the moment of recording the podcast, right this episode, right, ha- okay, right here as it. you were sitting. Yeah. See you <laughs> oh, in five my years. Eye misfiring See you in five years, first Sam. Hey. hey, Sam. Yeah. You know what's not? Well, you know what's not a joke? <laughs> you tell me. Identity theft, harassment, getting scammed. What about, ha, 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 ha. What about being annoyed I'm by spam or robocalls, you know? <laughs> Privacy matters here on this show. Have you ever yeah. wondered why those things happen? Identity theft, harassment, scams, spam and robocalls? Have you ever wondered to yourself, ask your question, huh, I wonder why this happens? Could it be because uh-huh. there are little gremlins known as data brokers that collect your data from other services that you trustingly gave, me, gave your data to, they stole it, Without your knowledge, and then they sold your data to people that shouldn't have it? Have you ever heard of a service that goes to bat for you? That takes those data brokers and gives them a no backhand and takes your data back? Data that was rightfully yours so that it's not spread amongst the masses. If only there was a service. There is a service. Today I'm happy to announce the service is real and it's called Delete Me. Today's episode is sponsored by our beautiful wow. friends over at Delete Me. I feel I like that was like kind of there. the whole ad. You really you went 115%. And let I me just tell you how all. this works. Just so just so people know, do you want me to I'll, I'll pick up some of the slack here? Yeah, free thank time. you. But basically what Delete Me does, you sign up, you tell you exactly what information you want to be deleted and their experts take it from there. They do privacy reports, tell you what's up, what they found, when it was removed. And it's not a one-time service. They're always working for you. So they're constantly monitoring and removing the personal information you don't want on the internet. To put it simply, Delete Me does all the hard work of helping wipe you and your family's personal info off the web. These data gremlins, they hate Delete Me. It keeps them up at night because because they're so upset. And right now, you guys can take they're control of your probably paying online. a hitman right now to try to get rid of Delete Me. Yeah, and you guys can save them by taking control of your data and keeping your private life private by signing up for Delete Me. Now, it is a special discount for our listeners. Today, get 20% off your Delete Me plan when you go to joindeleteme.com slash geniusbar and use promo code geniusbar at checkout. The only way, the only way to get 20% off is to go to joindeleteme.com slash geniusbar and use code geniusbar at checkout. J O I. N D E L E T E M E dot C O M slash genius bar YouTube lower. Oh, that's what we put it below us. Yes, that is, that is us, guys. That's delete me. And we, uh, we love them actually. Listen, some could say that your safety online is priceless. All we're saying is you can get 20% off of priceless. Wow, that was good. Everybody, Julie, but give it up for John Prosser for that. Join the Use promo code Genius Bar for twenty percent off price list. Thank you, Delete Me, for sponsoring this episode of Genius Bar. Ah, uh, dude, twenty twenty. Hold on, I, I can't Wait, even start video because it won't fucking move my eyes. Move, dude. Dude, is it five years from so... now that means Apple is completely carbon neutral? Uh, why I... would it not select video, bro? Can I just touch it? <laughs> When's the last time you did an eye scan, buddy? This guy's got the his day AirPods I got it because it's the same headset I got on day one, bro. But you have there it on all cockeyed currently. Gotta, 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 gotta. Yeah, hold on. Oh my god, I can't pinch up here. This fucking thing. Okay, okay, everybody, we're here in Apple Vision Pro. Hey, oh god, twenty thirty. See you in five years from now, Sam. Mother Nature Hi. is happy that Apple is completely carbon neutral now. Yay, Hi guys! Neutral Apple. Hey Sam, you iPhone 20 is here. This is a reminder to see if you were right and they were wrong. Because at the end of the day, only one thing matters, and that's being right in this life. So check back in on this Hello, conversation. Hello, Sam's children. <laughs> Hello, oh, Sam's that's children. Generous. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't say that all out loud. Um, okay, so this is the video. Look, at there's my beautiful view at sunset. And my parents are also here in L.A. Let me slowly turn as to not obscure the motion of this first-generation spatial video. And look, I can touch the door. 
It's almost <laughs> like I'm touching it right now. Are your parents actually uh, there, though? No, they're not. They're at the museum. Oh. Okay, I'm going to stop it. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to watch that back and see if it feels like real life. Oh, it's, it just doesn't see my pinch. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I have never had this many problems using my Vision Pro. Dude, I don't I'm know telling you, this thing I is I feel like he's, like he's doing it on purpose. Okay, I'm, I'm a not, defective one. I, I'm not doing it. Okay, I'm viewing the immersive. This is the least compelling thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Why is your nose not centered under there? What is going on? Dude, I don't make the headsets. I just wear them. But your nose I, isn't I centered. I said watch the video back five years from now, not right after you did it. And now you're like, least compelling thing I've ever seen. I could just do this now. I could take it off and do it. I'm looking at the ocean that I recorded a while ago. And John and I were talking about recording shared experiences with other people. You're just alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm recording some woman that I met at the boardwalk when I was making a video. Do you give a fuck oh. about that woman? It was slightly more compelling than what I just recorded, actually. Probably because it's like the ocean, which is just... Oh, hold on. Where? Oh, we didn't tap. There we go. Dude, I... Oh, my God. Play the Sa video Sam, Apple Vision Pro. Yeah. Sam, do you remember how many... And yeah. I, let's not even go back to, like, life things or just multiple years of uh, external things. How many times in Genius Bar alone have I said something that you disagreed with and then months later went, ah, shit, I see it now. Because that's what we're looking times. at right now. We're looking at Sam right now going, I don't understand why this is compelling. And then I'm going to be patient and generous with this man because in five <laughs> years, when Genius Bar is still going on, he's going to come back to me and he's, go, he's going to go, remember spatial video? Remember the thing you said? I get it. Mm. Maybe, you know what? I'll make a concession. Potentially spatial video and photos could be the one area that I'm wrong about, but I do stand by everything else that I've said. Like right now, I'm watching a video of our friend Noah eat Chipotle. Yeah, but what if Noah would? What if you kick the bucket? <laughs> what if Noah was no longer here? <laughs> yeah. It would be really funny because now I'm zooming in on him eating it, and it's kind of like a funny video. Yeah, it's actually really. But it's how Noah eats. I mean, it looks like Noah. Something that you might forget. Something that that's another Imagine... thing about recording specific experiences. Now you can go back and buy. We don't wow, want Noah to ate kind of fucked Noah. up. I'm, I recorded we don't want my anything friends. To Noah. I'm at a Louis Vuitton pop up in Naseko, Japan, with Dongle Book Pro and Luke Miani, and it's cool. But Luke died okay, yesterday. Listen, now, listen, well, how do you feel? Listen, <laughs> but exactly. if, someone, if a product being good predicates on their death, I don't think that's a good, compelling no, no, use. No, I mean, no, I'm no, sure no, that's no. how people First looked at all, photos too. Oh, why would I take a photo? Yes, I could just see you today. Exactly. But the point is, imagine a world where this is more commonplace. Something happens. We don't want anyone, anything to happen to any of our friends, but something happens to someone and you're able to send this video to his parents or to, mm -hmm. if he was married, to his wife. Uh, Noah's not married. What would right they now. think and experience looking at this memory? It would probably be incredible for them. Yeah, and also well, you under- Vision Pro. So they can't watch it. <laughs> Get this guy. Am I insufferable? Sorry, I'm typing right now. We, my parents we asked see me that. to come back. We are still, yeah, we are still recording, but you, we, we need to swipe keyboard and Vision OS too, by the way. That'll fix a lot of- like, Just say that. the words, dude. Hit Siri and say them. Yeah, just- We're on yeah, a podcast. I'm not going to rudely interrupt you guys. You're, you're on an audio podcast? Oh, you're but you'd rather interrupt- You're talking out loud as you type. But yeah, you you're can. just you're saying it already. As you type. But you're taking up so much more time by hunting and pecking. You could just say the words. Why? <laughs> he said, I'm not going to interrupt you. I'm just going to say the same words while I type them that Dude, I would I say don't to know. Siri. I just don't know what you guys want from me. What do you want from me? I just want you to stop looking at it like Neelai Patel. I want you to be... <laughs> We just I want just want you to, like, you to have less, kids. Stop. Wait, you, you want you to have what, kids what and experience all loss? Sam, right. Sam, what you're doing right now is like you are watching people walk into Disney World going, oh my God. And you go, no, fuck. You don't really see the sky. We just made the ride that way. Robot. You're not really outside. Here, here, that's just a robot. This, you a, know how the rides costume. work. And so you're taking the magic out of it. Just because go to people... Disney World sometimes, bro. Mm. Mm. John and I are good at that. Just fucking go to Disney World 
Stop thinking like love, you fucking work I there. I love Disney World. I love theme parks. I wish but you would hate it if you worked like there because you know how it all works. So you go just, up to the little kids and you're like, hey, that's not Mickey Mouse. That's really a guy in a suit. It's probably a woman, actually, because they like to get short people. Yeah, and he's probably so that, fucking drunk right now. How do you feel about that, little kid? <laughs> He's probably fucking wasted. Th- th- that's so interesting that that's how this is being viewed because I. How else would you like to see some, the future today? Yeah. It's not necessary. You, I, I asked you, I asked you, is this the future regardless of Vision Pro? And you said, yes. I said augmented reality is. Okay. And this gives you but the best version of augmented reality, reality we've ever had. That's true. That's true. And I just don't think it's. I don't think it's compelling enough yet. What if you could get into a time Again, machine? I'm okay. not saying Hang on, Sam, let me, a a of let me ask you a question. Let me ask you What if you could get in a time machine? And $3,500 is a bit okay. easier for, for us, unfortunately. So let's say the, the time machine is $10,000, okay? okay? You can buy it right now, and you can okay. actually see the future. You can see your life 10 years from now, but, but oh, I'm it. it's a little fuzzy. It's not like you're clearly oh, yeah. there. Yeah, it's a little fuzzy. Maybe you can see some pixels even, but you're seeing what you you're seeing ten years from now. Are you spending ten thousand dollars on that time machine, or no, are you going no, to be like, no fucking no, I'm not going to do that unless I can see it in in complete fidelity? Or no, you no go one should spend ten thousand dollars on that because um, you wouldn't spend ten thousand dollars on an actual time machine. No, because it wouldn't actually be useful for where I am right now. You don't think seeing what your life is in 10 years is useful right now? No, because I can make a decision to change or not change that. That's the thing about seeing the future. It's all predicated on if you live your life a certain way, but if you see the future, that could change. This is a philosophical debate now. Thank you. Where it's like, if you see the future, what if you see something you don't like right now, then you could change that. Yup. Yup. I'm just saying. I feel like I'm here living That's for That's why Vision Pro is Maybe. out now and not 10 years from now because if we see something, we can and change I'm, it. Again, I'm not saying this product shouldn't exist. I'm also not saying that. I'm not like, I personally feel like it was early for Apple to release it because I have been impressed by the first generation of everything else Apple's ever done. And for some reason, this discourages me less than it impressed me, even though some parts of it are really impressive. And the tech is insane. Like, I, I, it blows my mind every time I put this on and can just touch icons. There's no practical use for that in my life right now. Where the Apple Watch was, I mean, you could say the same thing about the Apple Watch. If you are not active, there's basically no reason to own an Apple Watch other than notifications. But like, okay. if you don't care about notifications and active, like that's the product. So I understand how someone would try the Apple Watch and be like, no, what? I just have a phone, what? But for me, that's really useful in my life because it fits my use cases. I just moved. I'm trying to get out and meet new people. I don't have a significant other right now. I want to feel more connected rather than less connected because I just left all my friends and family. And I feel like Vision Pro is not aligning with those goals of me in my life where like I want to experience a movie with somebody else, not in a headset. You can't make out with somebody in a headset. So you don't want to experience the movie at all then. You just want to make out in a movie theater, which you can do without playing the movie and watching the movie. No movie required. No, I want to go to a movie with somebody and experience it. Like I just started hijack with like my parents and it was really fun to watch it with them. And I realized, wait, the reason I don't watch TV or movies is because it's only really fun to do for me with somebody else. Well, and you haven't watched hijack in vision pro on an actual airplane. No, that oh. sounds, I mean, I would do that. And I'm going to bring this on an airplane with me. That's not what I'm uh-huh. not saying. I'm going to bring this with an airplane. I just feel lied to and gaslit by Apple. And I'm mad because you shouldn't lied? Okay, that, okay. Apple. I'm very, what can you expand about? on that? Lied to and gaslit about? about what? I mean, the quality of the cameras was not straightforward. The quality how, of their pass through so? in the videos does not look like the quality of the pass through I've ever experienced. Because in my life. you and I know the characteristics of cameras and displays. I know that's bull. Prosser, I'm calling bullshit on that. You can you, call I've bullshit all you want, so but I've times. shown people and they don't know they're looking through cameras and displays. Because they haven't had it on for more than 10, 15 minutes, John. Over time, they will. People I could tell. I was. I was disappointed people. immediately you're, when I put it on, and I could see camera do camera this things. This is what I've noticed a lot of tech people do with this release. 
and it is driving me nuts and I want to get it off my heart. They are discounting the genius of normal people. Normal people are just going to put it on and think it's amazing. No, normal people are going to after a day be like, why the hell is it so dark in here and the sun is shining directly at me? Oh my God, I like the real world way better. I hope that's my. Anyway, I hope you would I'm like a- the real world way better than being in a two hour Apple Vision Pro headset. Just like I hope you. I cool. hope if you had to choose between real world and having being in your phone always, you would pick the real world. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm not detecting a lie. I'm not detecting a lie. Apple, I do not feel like was fair about showing the quality of the cameras. I don't know. Terms. I don't know what kind of cameras they could have given us that would ever impress us. That's what I'm saying. I for a week I was exactly. so upset about the cameras and the displays until I realized maybe not everyone does this Dude. for a living and has to know cameras and displays the way I do. But that's I I don't that's it I'm doesn't mean people BS are stupid. That. It means it's I know It's not a camera and display thing. It's a why is it dark in my room and why can't I read text at small things legible thing. That's not a camera and uh, that's you can't. That's just a, you. No, bro. I can see lines on all the characters now after after spending time with it. I can see screen dooring. Did your parents? Do, did your parents try this? No, no. But I'm gonna have them try it. That's insane. I really want to hear. Dooring. I really want to hear. Is your mom there right their now? Thoughts. Real time. No, but they're on their way back. They're out. They're out. I, I'm very curious. My my mom. I can tell you right now is going to hate it with all of her heart. My dad will think it's cool, but my mom's going to hate it. Why is she going to hate it? She's going to hate it because it's new and different. And it's going to hurt her head because she's a small woman. Mm. That's why. She doesn't have the right fit, probably. I'm really more it's wondering. It's also show your mom, just the fit. Show it's your, just really heavy. Show your mom's I just want to shake you guys like little babies until the sense falls out because sometimes right, you just, guys get a little too sucked into loving fit. it. And I'm happy for it's not, other people. It's not that. other people aren't going to love it. Other people aren't going to love it, and that's okay. It's not locked into loving it. There are I can tell you areas where it falls short and areas where it excels. And I can also tell you where there are areas where it falls short for only people like us and areas where it falls short for everybody. Hand tracking falling short for everybody is a bad experience for everybody. But to claim that Apple lied about the camera quality when only they could put cameras double as good as their that, that's in there now, and I would still be able to to mark the characteristics of those cameras working and those displays working. So there has to be a level of grace that I'm willing to show in areas where I simply know too much. I know too much. That's and it that's, isn't a product for everyone that knows too much. But the vision. For- <laughs> You're laughing but at me. The, You're actually I'm laughing, laughing at, you. at me. I'm laughing at you. I'm literally laughing at you because how is a $3,500 desktop PC supposed to be for everybody when the the people it would be marketed to are the people that know about screens and cameras? I'm not saying it's it's for everybody. The experience, you literally just say, said, Sam, but everyone I, will love Vision the Pro. The experience, the experience is for everybody. The 30 it, whether minute experience you, Whether that experience Pro, for you can only be 15 minutes in an Apple Store demo because you don't have $3,500 to spend on it, I still stand by my claim that if $3,500 is a hard sell for you, maybe stay away from this one. Like, that's not what I think the experience is good for everybody to have at least once. Absolutely. Because this is where you're you're going to – this is your experience moving forward. This is a glimpse into the future. But not everyone right now has money for a time machine, and that's okay. Some of us can buy the time machine, and I want to buy the time machine. I think for a lot of people that have 3500 don't buy the time machine. You'll be so much happier. Like there's multiple people but I know where $3,500 ro- is near nothing to them, and they have taken it But that's robbing them of this then. that's You're taking the decision <laughs> no. away from them, Sam. You're saying <laughs> – even if you have it, don't fucking bother. That's insane to say. Yes, because I'm a reviewer, and that's what I take my job no, is to tell the, people what the, I think. The appropriate I response. I think the Vision Pro is a bullshit product right now for most people. So don't buy it. You would be much better buying a $3,500 OLED TV if the killer use case is watching movies on it because you'll be able to share it with other people because you can have full customization, and it's such a mature product. That's how I feel. The, do you know the levels of extreme you take? Like, th- you're not even balancing extreme- these sides at all. You're saying, you just said it's bullshit. 
You yes. said that. <laughs> yes, it is. I feel like I can't I'm reason with someone who's being unreasonable. I <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. Like there's I've nothing I the can product. say. I'm trying to establish, I'm trying to give you human emotions so you feel something yes. and you're calling it bullshit. Yeah, because there's more to this product than emotion. And there's different types of people too. Some people are more emotionally driven, some people are more logically driven, and there's not Here's the thing, guys, and the, I feel like maybe tech reviewers are like forgetting this. There's no right answer. Exactly. So how can you say it's bullshit? That's my opinion. You, but you are telling people that are watching you, if you got yeah. thirty five hundred dollars, it's bullshit. Don't bother. If you have thirty yeah, five hundred dollars, if you have thirty five hundred dollars, <laughs> I'm not going to stop you from experiencing anything. I'm if you got the money to blow, buy Dude. eight. Hey, the, Dad, the thing you're missing, Dad. Sam. The thing you're missing. Here, here, here's what I think a lot of tech reviewers miss that I always try okay. to incorporate with any product, I, any product I'm using. It doesn't matter what I think. What does matter is my expertise in using and evaluating products, but how I feel ultimately yes. doesn't matter. It's my, it's my job to figure out who this is for and who it's not for and then let yeah. the people who it is for know this is why it's for you and let the people who we think it's not yes. for let them know yeah. why it's not for you doesn't matter what i think and you and you just half, said half the world will say android sucks the other half will say iphone sucks guess what neither of them the suck look how popular both of them are great right mm -hmm. so you just because my opinion might be i prefer iphone it doesn't mean if i think android yeah. sucks that it sucks I need to find the people when I review an Android device. I need to talk to the people who it's for, right? Yeah, it's like your so, job. Your job isn't to t to give them an answer, yes or no, buy this. Your job is to just translate the experience and let them decide for yourself. You just said that we underestimate the genius of normal people, but then you're going to tell normal people it's bullshit. Don't buy it, even if you have the money. That doesn't make any yeah. sense. It is your job to translate the sense. experience and let them no, 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 let no. them decide from their inner Nothing. being. That's your, I think that's a very old school mentality that the job is something specific. Yeah. Like, I don't want to sound like I'm discounting you guys or your experiences. And maybe I come across that way sometimes. I apologize if that is so. I don't want to discount you. I don't want to tell you what the answer is. I'm telling you, I think parts of this thing are bullshit. I think, usually, I think if you have $3,500, you would be way better just specking out a MacBook Pro to like get work done um, and to take this on a plane and all these different parts. And that's just how I feel. Whew. I can't. I can't. This is a believe. fun episode, dude. This episode is a roller coaster of emotions. It is. We, we were yelling like at each John, other. John, you look point. more stressed out. You feel more. You look more stressed <laughs> out does. before the show. I do. <laughs> I, like I, am, your day. I am. It's. It's just. <sighs> I. Ha it's so. It's odd for me to go from very critical and question questioning a product before it comes out to very passionate about what it enables. And it's like, yeah. it's. I think I'm frustrated that my friend in the same space that has access to the same things I have access to is so caught up on like, not what it enables, but the thing that you gotta put on to get there and, I think that's fair. And I, I like again, nothing against you as a person. This is just like when we when we turn the podcast off and we're not talking about Vision Pro. I'm not going to have a hard time with you. I'm not going to be hard on you. It's about this specific thing. That, and maybe I would feel less like this if uh, you didn't come around to so many things I said. And it's like I'm not frustrated with you exactly. I'm frustrated because somehow I'm I feel like I'm not finding the right words to convince you. And at the same time, I can nah, be like, that's nah. it's not my job to convince him. Like, that's fine. But I feel like I'm not doing a good job translating because that, to me, this is my job. Like, this is the job that I've taken on more recently is like trying to help you think different. I hate that fucking phrasing. To help you think <laughs> differently or like change a perspective on, on a thing. And if I'm struggling to do that, that's a, that's a frustration with me. And so like- I, I Go ahead. I just wanted to hop in and say I think you I think you have changed my mind on some things, like the illustration of like the spatial videos and how those those could be really impactful for me if I was at a different spot in my life. Like I think that is you. I think you guys have. Are I'm you with you? Do you prom Do you promise you're going to do a review? 
Yeah, I've decided. Okay, I decided today I that like I definitely need. I definitely need to say this, and I I know what I'm going to title it, and I think I told you the title. I'll tell you off air, but mm-hmm. yeah, because it is how I feel, and I essentially yeah, the crux is going to be like I think if I wanted to show augmented reality to the world, I would have done something different. Yeah, that's basically the crux of the video. It's like I would have done some different or weighted or I don't know. I, I you know it just I really like it, and like again, I'm not returning this. Like I I'm not selling it. Like I'm not getting rid of it. I, I I'm not like. I mean, trust me, that would, I know that would be a banger video that would get a ton of views, why I returned Apple Vision Pro. But I'm not doing that because this is actually how I feel. And how I feel is that sometimes I do want to use it. Sometimes mm-hmm. I still want to use it. Sometimes I just want to put it on and tap and pinch and it's fun. And I, like again, to be crystal clear, I if my tune doesn't change by the second, third, or fourth version, then I'm going to be re- like actually pissed. Right now, I'm just uh-huh. like, oh. <laughs> I was so excited. They built the hype up for me so long. Well, that that's what I'm worried and, about is that even by then it won't be enough for you because you, the hardware is getting better, but it's still taking you to the same place. And I'm and I'm starting to worry that you don't understand the value of the place to be. I mean, I see the value sometimes as a change. tool. But like, yeah, just the fact that Andrew is like 10 hours in there. Awesome. That's yeah, insane. Yeah, I can't. That's insane. Andrew's an insane person. In there, bro. Okay, so so Andrew, let's wrap up by this. Andrew, you've been working in it. You've been watching content. And like, what else have you been doing in Vision Pro? That like, what are you doing 10 hours a day in Vision Pro? I'm not even on my computer 10 hours a day. Okay, so I'm at my computer for the most part. So in a typical work Mac day, display. like I wake up and when I get to my computer, I'm, yeah, I'm at my, I have a Mac Pro, M2 Ultra, whatever the hell it's called. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll mirror the display right in there. And so I'll make my display large. I have a Pro Display XDR. Who cares? Mm. It's what, 32 inches? I'm, I'll, I'll blow this up to like 55 inches. Who cares? I'll usually put like a Insane. YouTube window above me. I've got my messages to my right, um, some other app above whatever I need. And I'll just work, right? So I'm, I'm using my keyboard and my trackpad and I'm just working in there, doing my emails, doing whatever it is. I'll edit videos in there and make like a huge timeline. It's, it's incredible. Um, after I'm done working... So I, I can basically do every work, every piece of work I need to do in Vision Pro with the exception of if it requires my phone. So if I'm going to post to TikTok or post to Instagram, I'll have to mm-hmm. take the headset off. But it's like after work is done where like the fun comes in. Now, one, one thing where Vision Pro, the experience is going to be different for you is who is around you. I live alone. So it's not weird for me to have it on when I'm not working, when I'm out in the living room. So yeah. usually like with my girlfriend, we will like FaceTime. FaceTime and Vision Pro is awesome. You can share play. So like we'll FaceTime, before Vision Pro, we would, we would um, FaceTime and like we'd be on each other's iPad and we would like share play a show. So we're like hanging out yeah. and watching a show. When I'm in Vision Pro, we can FaceTime and I can drag her window to be like right next to me. So it's almost like she's next to me on the couch. I hear her coming at me when she talks from here and I turn hmm. and there she is. And then I have this huge window, movie screen size display in my living room, right? I started playing video games in this app called Castaway. So I plug my uh, my Xbox into an iPad and then it streams, same thing, huge, huge display. I'm playing Fortnite, I can see people so far away, life-size snipe, done, right? Like. <laughs> There's so many cool <laughs> things you can do that are just in your everyday life. I'll go over. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go like do the dishes and like put the dishes in the dishwasher empty. I'll just bring a YouTube window, put it right there. Boom. Life size. You're doing the dishes window. with it on. Dude, I'm, I, I'll do the. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. But why wow. not? Yeah. Like I can see the dishes. I can see the dishwasher clearly. And I can have instead of having it on my OLED in the next room, right, where I can hear it, but I can't see it. Now I just yeah. have it in front of me, no matter where I go, it's there. Um, and then I've just been yeah. trying apps. Like if you download the DJ app and you just have your favorite songs in there and you just, pl- I was in there for 90 minutes and didn't realize it like one time. I, got, I, I so made it, I made it like good. three minutes before I was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, the DJ app. App. no, you got no, you gotta have you gotta have all your favorites. Like you get at least have a get set, your favorite John. playlist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. It's good. Yeah. It's Whoops. good. Um, but I'm trying, I'm like, okay. I'm looking for like, part of it for me is like, I'm just looking for all the third party dev apps that are cool because I feel like that is almost the secret of this product. 
there's so many things that people, it almost feels like when the very first app store came out, there was a lot of just really simple things people were just trying. And then there were like the bigger developers that were putting out impressive stuff. There's so many things Apple has. Yeah. I'm a fucking idiot, dude. I'm a fucking idiot. I, before vision pro came out, I kept saying that it's, that this product is going to lean way more on third-party developers, and that's not fair for an app, for a product that Apple is giving us. And now I feel like a fucking idiot because I was like, Apple has to give us the thing that, to do in there, not just hope that a third-party developer does. But they did. They did. Mm-hmm. Vision OS is the reason to be in there. And the things yeah, that Vision OS agreed. enables, that's the crazy part. Like, Vision OS is the, is the product they gave us. Developers can now do things because that enables so much more. And that, yes. that and that's why I feel stupid for sitting on this show and on Front Page Tech saying that they didn't give us the killer experience or the killer app when the killer app isn't the, it's the thing you need to look for. It's the thing that enables the killer apps to even exist in the first place. And I feel like a stupid, stupid asshole. The thing that's with what my review what developers called, are doing. <laughs> John Proz is a stupid asshole. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have, I have, the, I have used apps that have given me experiences that I never even thought I would even care to experience. Yeah. Yesterday, I was in this art app that you could, yeah. fills your entire room with like a wall of art and then walks you through each one and why they're important to the time. Like, and I was just enthralled. I would never, if someone was like, Hey, I have this art app. Do you want to try it? I would, no, I don't, I don't really care. Yeah. But I was just like enthralled. So there's so many cool experiences. And, and that's also like, like teaching people. Me. Like I grew up in high school that ha- in a high school that had a planetarium. Whoa. And the planetarium was from like the seventies. So it's like, you know, not much like Pluto was still up there as a planet. When we were in school, I think I don't know if it's back as a planet, but when we were in school, they took it away. Yeah, they yeah. they took it away. No Pluto, don't count it anymore. Uh, <laughs> and that was really really cool. That was like out of any textbook or anything the school could have taught me, putting me in the planetarium yeah. was the thing that unlocked the sc- the absolute scale. And that's the thing, like to teach to teach people to associate feelings with the words they're being taught is is like an insane level to unlock. And Vision Pro, even just the amount of space apps there are to just give you the the sheer and utter scale it's horrifying and it's it unlocks this existential dread that a textbook in some words will never give you and that's just part of what it unlocks that doesn't un- we're talking about like reading about dinosaurs and standing next to one is an in- and I'm not talking about encounter dinosaurs I'm talking about like uh, there's a, there's an Apple immersive content that's like prehistoric Earth or something where you just you're on Earth and the sun isn't hitting the atmosphere the same way. The Earth is warmer and more prehistoric looking. Where like you, you can read about that. Yeah, that's one thing. Okay, I get that. But then you stand next to prehistoric birds that you have no business standing. You no business being there. I could read that in a textbook, but I'm standing there next to them and it unlocks this this whole human experience that I can only like, please Apple just for a year toss, give every school a bunch of vision pros and watch the rest of the schools buy them all the next year. Like the, the level of, of human experience that this unlocks as a digital product is insane. Yeah. Yeah. I think VR is good. The way you can learn by experiencing is incredible. I love Vision Pro. Good job, Apple. I take back all the bad things I said. I'm very sorry about it. Andrew Edwards was right the whole time, and I should have listened to him because he's older and wiser. I really want to see Sam get fitted properly and see. Because when you asked about that, um, that time machine question, the one thing I was thinking was, if I had to pay $10,000 and be in pain for the trip, right? Yeah. Huh. So you get to go into the future, but while you're there, the entire time you're in pain, I would be like, I How would think pain? twice about that. Yeah. yeah. I so wait, John, if, like, you got a new light seal and you're perfectly comfortable now? It's still, it's still heavy, but like okay. the weight is, so before it was like putting all the weight, it felt like I didn't have a light seal on almost. Like that's how 
it felt hard mm-hmm. on my face. It, that's why I said it felt like somebody else put their cheekbones on my face, and there was no give. The new light seal has it flexes and gives me a, a different amount of give to where it's heavy, but it's distributing that weight across my face and not just like on my cheekbones or on the bridge of my nose or just above hmm. my eyebrows. Yeah. You guys need to buy that strap. Ten dollars. I'm not buying a CPAP strap. Sorry, I draw the line. Just try it with me. It's I gonna help do you. It. I, gonna I'm help. not CPAP in myself. I draw it's, the line. It's nothing to do with CPAP. Yeah, draw well, it's in there. the title of the strap. And I don't like it. <laughs> they just they missed the opportunity to call it the C strap. How long have we been going? Like three hours, maybe. No, maybe three hours, really? and tw- three hours and twenty minutes. I've I had to start another recording. That's how long we went. What? Oh. It it recorded. It stopped. I deleted some stuff and started recording again. That was like I didn't mean. This was a really long episode. But people are gonna. Well, hey. You just wait. I know you don't read the comments, great. but the comments are gonna be like, "Wow, three hours. We're so excited." I'll be in there. I'll be in the comments. Andrew will be be. there. And then they're going to be like, that Sam guy, he doesn't get Vision Pro. All the tech boys love Vision Pro. No, I think think there's half and half. There's a lot of people that agree with what you're saying. And I know also those people have never tried it. I honestly feel like the people who try it, who are not tech people, like it more than the tech people do. Yeah, I. You are the voice of all the people who haven't tried it, Sam. I would be scared about that. No, but I've tried. I. I actually there's a lot of. I've read a lot of Reddit threads of people that have tried it, and they're like, "Yeah, it just wasn't. I don't. I don't know what I would do in this." And that's like basically where I'm at. Like I just. Uh, cause I don't, dude. Like the, the way, like where I'm at is like even if this was like nine ninety nine, I'd still be like, I don't think it's really worth. Mm. Thousand dollars. I think the it's absolutely worth. I paid four thousand dollars for mine, and I will say it was absolutely worth every dollar I spent. I can't yeah. say that it that I can't I recommend that everyone try to spend that amount of money to get this, but I'm saying I feel like every do- I can see where every dollar went in terms of the. I think it's over engineered, and there are areas where they could have cut corners to make it less expensive. But in its current form, even though I would rather spend less money and get maybe something that isn't so over engineered, I don't feel like I got ripped off. I don't think it's ripped off, but... You called it bullshit, Sam. I did. You went a step further than a ripoff. You said they lied, and it's bullshit. Yeah. That's, oh, I, that's, do, I dude, do that feel is that intense. way about the pass-through specifically. That's so intense to say. They lied, and it's bullshit. Dude. <laughs> I want to say FOV, something real quick about this pass-through. I've never seen pass-through. the FOV. I think it's a little bullshit. It's, it's bullshit. I FOV don't thing. know... I don't know what I saw. Have you guys seen the show Silo? Mm-mm. No. Okay. I don't want to spoil anything because it's a really good show that you guys should watch on Apple TV Plus. But okay, there was a moment where I put on the Vision Pro. I was running the beta. Okay. And you know how like you put it on and then it like lights up and shows you your environment. Mm-hmm. I put it on. It it instead of doing that slow light up, it turned on immediately, instantly. I could see everything perfectly and then it like switched to making things look dim. Oh. Like I feel like there was a bug where it like showed me just the the raw camera raw. and then it switched. Oh yeah. Almost it almost and I don't know again. I, this is just me speculating that the pass through that we're seeing is is not a the decision. native pass through. It's a decision yeah. they made as opposed to yeah. this is just what it is. Because I felt like for, again, for a split second, maybe like a second or two, I could just see my brightly lit room and then it switched. So, I bet you're right. And I've never seen it happen again. So I think the pass through thing could be a software decision that could be changed. The motion smoothing is the right call, by the way. What do you mean? The motion smoothing is like, yeah, I, so I, I have been more in front, like the, uh, I guess something I should really give it props for because it is really impressive is the responsiveness of the system. Like the the R one chip is insane. Like the fact that I can move my hand and see it in real time with zero bonkers, light is crazy bonkers. Yeah, that that's really impressive. Like again, I want people to be like, I'm not like this. It's not a piece of shit. I think I said that last week because I was like, I mean, some of it I'm hamming. <laughs> I'm hamming a little bit. Okay, let's let's be hamming for the show. camera. But yeah, but like I do feel like like the cameras that Apple showed me. Th- sorry. The pass through that Apple showed me and the pass through I've experienced are completely different. Um, so that was really disappointing. And like, it is something that like, 
it's way better than the quest. Like when Mark Zuck is like, oh, we have high quality pet. No, it is low quality pass through on the quest. Just so everyone knows, it is low quality full color pass through. Is it low the quality is, or is it $500 pass through versus $3,500 pass through? I just don't think you can call it high quality because that's misleading. And it's marketing okay. as well. But I am starting to get more – I feel like in the past like couple months, I have been getting more pissed about like marketing BS. And I feel like I'm picking up on that more in a way that I hadn't before. And like – yeah, there's just – yeah. I, Apple, come talk to me. I got some suggestions for your Vision Pro. I It'll bet be they'll talk to you now. After you call it yeah. bullshit and lies. <laughs> hey, come I want to make it better at the end of the day. Um. I, I, you know, me and Apple are tight. Yeah. And You're, they're definitely not going to let you back in to film at Apple Park. That's done. Those days are gone. That's, You're going to have to find a way to replicate unless Apple I, Park. Unless I bring him point. as my camera guy again. Yeah. yeah. We'll come back. Yeah. I mean, I just, uh, I'm, I'm excited for DubDub. I'm excited to see what software stuff comes. And I can't wait for the second gen version when they fix, hopefully, most things. Because like like the screens and seeing the pixels like that's that's not like a crazy thing for me but like I do notice a little bit and like I guess if the pass through was better I'd be like more inclined I just feel like a lot of the key areas they huh they got me they just feel like a lot of key areas they got me oh and that's what I was trying to say but then there's and like the straps could be a lot better yeah what else do I really love I love the gestures when they work that's like sick. I love the eyes is the cursor is the right call. That's a huge one. Your eyes is the cursor is the right thing. Genius. Yeah. Amazing I, I, 12 out of 10. And by the way, I think I've redone my eye tracking setup every week. Wait, yeah. What? I Why? think that needs to be better uh, because it, it just eventually like isn't as Loses accurate. Yeah. It's yeah, like that's kind of what it feels like. When you first do the eye scan, it's like, on point every time but it's like it's every like time razor. i put it on and my eyes are in a different spot a slightly different spot like you just start to lose it over some time i would like that to be corrected i would like them to there's a quick figure out a quick longer term accuracy you know, you know what a quick it? fix what's the quick fix you just press the crown five times and then it goes through uh the eye whatever you, the eye what really so you don't that's have to like a hidden go feature through i didn't yeah. cover in my video that's cool Mm, don't be watching my content. No, another another good one. Uh, use the use the sound control. So instead of hitting the crown to bring up the the home screen, I just change it so I can just snap my fingers. We have no idea right. what you said. I just want you to know. You cut out completely shit, when you said that. Why? I don't We're know. Back. You're back. Say You're it back. now. Say it again. You hear me right now? I'm back. Yes, sir. Yep. I was saying if you use the sound. Um, control feature and accessibility, you can do things like make a snap of your fingers, bring up the home screen. So you don't have to like press the crown or you can do, I have it set to like, if I go, shh, if I do that noise, it recenters everything. So I don't have to like press or drag. So there's different sounds you can make with your mouth to control what, what? Vision Pro is doing. That's cool. Yeah. Well, Just in, Andrew in, Edwards in, in the his game, house going, snap, snap. Shh, also, shh, shh, shh. Some, something, that blew, something that blew my mind that signifies yeah. that they're, like it's not as limited as Apple has made you believe is in black box in black box that black augmented box. reality game app yeah before yep. they've added new stuff the last level was a portal that you had to cut don't spoil it don't, don't ruin it don't are you kidding it. me i'm not okay don't this spoil is more it. you just me. said there's a let let me can i just tell you there it's it's important <laughs> for I had one fucking thing to look forward on vision pro and he's like oh hey by the way that thing is this is how it ends he didn't tell us. <laughs> what I'm saying is I feel like this is more important to say for the pod. <laughs> okay. I'll say, oh. let me say let me say it this way. I uh, I was under the impression that all the Apple Vision Pro could really recognize was eye movement and pinching. Okay. That's not true. Mm. It can recognize any motion you, you do with your hands. That's all I'm going to say. And third-party developers mm. can see what you're doing with your hands and utilize more motion than just a pinch. That's all I'm going to say. Like fruit like fruit ninja. Yeah, like fruit ninja. Like a slice. Like fruit ninja. So, like, even though the key ways of interacting for Apple in the, in the UI is pinching and looking, it knows way more than that. 
Oh, it does mm-hmm. way. Yes, it does. It's not Even just looking for pinch. It can see anything, and the and any motion can be used by any developer anywhere. And suddenly, it's way less limited. Mm-hmm. Yeah, black box is my favorite thing I've done on the Vision Pro, and every time I go into it, I'm like, "This is the future," and it's because it's augmented reality. Mm. Black box is super cool. You told you to- wait. How do I know how black box ends before you do? Because you told I me, and then I didn't even it. download it till three weeks after you told me, basically. And I haven't I had time to beat it. I've been I trying every some of the puzzles. Vision Pro hasn't even been out for a month, really. But three you're weeks. right. That three week mark was deadly. I hate, I hate this man sometimes. <laughs> I'm still going to use it sometimes. How was I how was I so right and so wrong at the same time? I was saying that's, and predicting, tra- that's literally your life story. I was predicting <laughs> the experience for only you and didn't know that I was going to be shifting. Mm. Yeah. So hard. I thought I was just going to love it and be like he he and now I am like just kind of sad to be honest. When are you putting your review out, Sam? I don't know. I mean, I haven't even started on it, and my like, I don't really have time this week because my family's in town, and then I've got yeah. another video that's going to go live that I have to finish editing. I've just kind of realized like having a family and being a content creator like don't really work. So I'm kind of starting to plan <laughs> that's the time. So like, I think real. The time it's gonna be Jesus in, like, Christ, that's years. the realest thing you've ever said on this podcast, and it is troubling. Yeah, yeah. I think in like five six years, I'm just going to be like a hey, last video piece. <laughs> what are you going to do after that? I don't know. I'll be like a woodsmith or something. That sound that yeah that tracks that makes wow. sense for your trajectory of things. <laughs> yeah. I would definitely spend at that point what would it be 15, 16 years doing this just to go to wood stuff. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna like go to a different continent where they don't have Vision Pros or something. I want to be Andrew Edwards when I get older. I want to just somehow and mysteriously print money. Hey, I, I did it all while while having a family though. So that's what I mean. But how? That's what yeah, I'm. I'm that's what I don't understand. You are just. A money, if money, if a money machine was a person, it's Andrew Edwards. But I, I feel guess, like he lives like pretty reasonably. I don't know how many people would say that. Um, <laughs> I think it's really, I mean, at the end of the day, when I, when I started doing what I wanted to do, I never wanted to be a quote unquote YouTuber. I wanted Here we to go. be a He's going to give us the business speech. Person. Here we go. That's it. Here it comes. I wanted to be a business person. So mm. all the decisions I think people make to that they think makes them a better YouTuber, I usually make decisions based on what makes my business more profitable. Even mm. if it means I'm not as a good, good of a YouTuber, for example. Mm. Um, because I'm going for longevity. I want to be here forever. Andrew Edwards, the longest living content creator. Stay tuned in 2098. He's That's right. And Andrew Edwards, you can't tell right now but this man is 186 years old. He's seen it all. <laughs> all the stuff we're talking about right. being invented, he was there. With that, that's why he knows Vision I'm, Pro is so important. He's like time machine. I'm a human time machine, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in one My right friend now. Friend Graham Bell. <laughs> yeah. Like you really don't know why Vision Pro is so cool because I'm able to put it on and go back to my friend Lincoln. Yeah. Yes. was in yeah. the theater. Yeah, you and saw his it. head. Wow. You saw it. You were yeah. Right. You were, so I just put not it on. Yeah, yeah. You put you recorded spatial video when that was happening. Right. <laughs> you go. What do you what it, Sam? What are you good? Honestly, the battery on my head isn't as horrible as I thought. I actually know I can kind of feel it. Guys. What an episode of Genius Bar. Genius Bar. Andrew, do you have anything you'd like to plug before the music overtakes you in loudness and severity? Listen, listen. All right, guys. I got, I got something to drop. My, my video is dropping drop. soon. Link down in the description wow. and in, in the show notes. AndrewEdwards.com. Don't go, don't go anywhere, no, Andrew. Andrew.com. What's your YouTube at, Andrew Edwards? This is why at you let him I'm plug it. Andrew. Wow. <laughs> on YouTube? I'm at Andrew. You're at Andrew... What the hell? He knows people. He A-N-D-R-U probably stole it. A-N-D-R-U. A-N-D-R-U. Andrew, wow. don't go anywhere because the le- the ending of the show is a lie. We will stay after the music is over. Don't tell anybody, but we will stay after the music is over. It just takes a really long time to be over. It's almost there. Here we go. Over now. Okay. 
Sweet Jesus. Okay. At Andrew on YouTube, the link is down in the, in the description in the show notes. You should go watch him and watch his video that comes out before any of ours. Hey, you uh, guys are just in time. The show's over. Hey, they're there. Let me Yay. See your mom. Bring. Yeah, Andrew says he wants show to say your hi. mom. Show your mom. Show your there mom. she is. Hello. Yay. Hello. Ow. Oh. Oh you just hit my head. <laughs> hit it harder. With happy a fist. birthday. She's doing okay. Yeah, they got they, they, they she said happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Happy that it's fun spending it with Sammy. <laughs> Uh, she can't hear the music, but I'm playing the music. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best okay. part, the music that she can't hear. <laughs> okay, love you. Okay. Bye. Mom, stop. Okay, <laughs> bye, Sam. Thanks for being on the show. Wait, what do you mean, bye, Sam? You guys, well, what, you guys hang the around show for is hour? over. Trying to end it. I, I don't know how to end it. Say Wait, good. Is his mom on the show? His mom was on the show? She made it, yeah. She, she made was, it. Yeah. Amazing.